Welcome everybody to 40 Air Talk episode 132. Wow. I am your host, Rage Body as always. Joining me this time is the usual crew of DX Takumi on the right, Derek on the bottom left, and Colin Johnson on the bottom right. <sighs> yep. Hi Good everybody! Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Oh, crazy right. week. Um uh, this is uh, the moment. <laughs> it, this yeah. is a timing yeah. thing, so our curse is now reverted, I would say, since yeah. there's some huge announcements yeah, yeah, yeah. coming this week, so we have a lot to talk about during this week of this episode. Um first off though, um Jiwara Days came out right before <laughs> or right <laughs> after we uh uploaded last week's episode, so we mm. saw the uh the M V and the coupling songs on that side. So let's go through that. Um, Before I want to say one quick thing, yes, thank you to all the people who congratulated me for my birthday. Oh. Uh, I really appreciate it. <laughs> On Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, uh, no matter where you did it, if I saw it, I commented. So thank you a lot. It means a lot. Lots of but, yeah, uh, comments for the happy are. birthday. Is it, was yeah, it the yeah, most yeah. amount of people that uh, congratulated you in uh, uh, on a birthday? Ever. Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Uh, yeah, um, most global, I would say. Oh, yeah, that, that, that certainly is true. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Then. Yeah, so, no. There, there were, uh, there were many people, Colin, that really reached out mm, to you. It, yeah. it, 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 it touched me very deeply to know that oh. we have fans that are like that. Uh, and again, all power, love, and respect to our fans. You guys are the best. You really are the best. Yeah, it's so much amazing. We're almost uh, reaching a thousand subscribers. So I know it's a little early in the show. Thank but, you. Um, Did you announce it? Yeah, sure, why not? Because um, when yeah. we reach the thousands, I would like to know from you guys in the comments, what would you like us to do for the thousand oh. subscribers uh, situation? Let Ooh. us know and we'll pick someone That's from the one. comments and then uh, do something with that when we uh, eventually hit thousand subscribers. But okay. Which we will. Probably. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jiwaru Days MV, who wants to go first? I had I had no opinion last week, so can I start? Yeah. Yes, go for it. Go okay. Uh, well, I have to disagree with you guys. Uh oh. Uh, I don't think it's a combination of Sukinanda and uh, the coupling song of last week. Uh, I just I I don't I don't see it. I don't I don't. Um, but uh, I I've heard it, and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm kind of with you with the rest though. Um. Uh, on a on a on his ho on his entirely you know on the whole uh -huh. it's not great for Sashi to go out on <laughs> no um, exactly uh, but yeah, I think uh, it's it, it starts off with Sashi singing too long but I don't like too the high too voice. too high yeah, uh, yeah. It's, uh, there, there are many things <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I I like the sound uh, it has this upbeat vibe to it I like the energy. Um, the MV is fun. I, I, I like half of it whenever they were, are with the costumes. I uh -huh. really like those parts. I don't like the rest. You know, when they're outside, it just doesn't click with me all too well. Mm. Um, I don't I don't know why I don't like the 90s aesthetics. It's like they look so 90s with those uh, jackets. It's like, uh, it doesn't click for me. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I, 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 they, they're doing Polaroid photos again they did that with sentimental train i don't know yeah, if that's shots, a... shots, yeah. yeah i don't know if that's a thing they will be doing in the future every now and then uh, every but... now and then should be fine to be quite honest because it's a different view it's more like when they're in the small downtime you know it's always... oh yeah yeah that's that's true it's, it's kind of i noticed that i was like oh again with the polaroid uh but it's 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 fine um uh, three thousand four hundred fifty outfits wow yeah uh, to... yeah, that's impressive I, I, I'll that give is. a double thumbs up to whoever had to do that. Kayano Shinobu. That's 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 uh that's great. Um, but um, I think this is my definition of mundane. Um, I I I just listened to it. It just it has no hook. I don't know if it has a chorus. To be honest, mm -hmm. it's just it sounds nice. I don't dislike it. But I asked you guys the question last week. Uh, do you rather have this or teach a teacher? For me, it's no question. Definitely teach a teacher. This same. It's, it's. I would say it's second. You know, on the whole, if this song was released in 2018, how would it fare up against the others? 
it would be number two by default. Maybe even number three. I don't want to go further than that. I'll just... <laughs> because otherwise that will be a funny thing to do as well. But it's... <laughs> Ah, it's it's mundane. I don't. Uh, it's I'm good, sad. Good, good, I good. I I had like average expectations. I I still was disappointed. Sadly, I didn't want to be, but it's like I, I think uh, one last thing uh, on it. Um, uh, I, I oh oh two. I don't like mm-hmm. the outfits. They're they're too bland. Mm-hmm. I I don't mind. It's entirely white. It's just too bland. Um, but I, no one stood out in this MV for me except Sashi. She's the center, but. Uh, it, it, still, I, I think I saw one shot of Jurina. I saw Yukirin a lot. I think I think I saw Yui Yui. But it's like ah, no one just stood out in this MV, which is kind of sad. But maybe mm, not depending I on how you look at it. I don't agree with that totally. I think nah, that yeah. there were still enough moments that they were in frame a shot for a couple of seconds, yeah. not compared to uh, half a second or just maybe one second. <coughs> Sorry, I, I, I still. Mm. Can't uh, I? I wouldn't be able to tell. I d- never saw Dasu. I don't know where she was. Um, uh, a Miru as well. It's like I, I, I can't remember who was in it. It's just they didn't stand out enough for me, sadly. Hmm. Well, but that's uh, for, kind of my whole opinion on it. For me, the whole thing with the MV is um, the only plus sides is I like the setting with the costumes. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. It's a nice, yeah, yeah. amazing yeah. feature. It's yeah. a good celebration for uh, what Sashi meant for the the group. Mm-hmm. Everything else, though, it I don't want to listen to the song. Basically, it, it, it's not bad, but it's it's so bland. And I heard it before, then like I I don't really care. I've been listening to um, Kuroi Hitsuji uh, like daily, and then especially now it's finally on uh, Apple Music, so I could download the album and just immediately listen to all the great songs on that. Uh, single basically mm. but this one is just like I, I don't really care and it's like eh, that's, like what you said even though they were uh, featured I believe they still were like yeah just like forgettable this song is mm. forgettable to me it's yeah. one and it, if, yeah. and next year I'll be yeah. like oh yeah that came next year we'll be talking about this we'll be like what came out last year um, uh we may remember the title, and that is last uh, Sashi's last song. But I think that will be that's that right. Yeah. It doesn't feel it will... great. It, it it's not going great for AKB48. That that mm. that's that's my opinion, and and this foreshadowing yeah. for the rest of the stories that's coming up. All the shadows. Yeah. But it's um, no. If you have stock currently in AKB48, uh, it's going more down, 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 and down with all these announcements coming up and. Bringing out these songs doesn't help. It, it's nah. Derek, you mentioned it uh, a couple of times. It's been so long since they came out with a like an instant classic, instant hit, or mm. a, a quality song on this side. So, mm. um, what's your opinion on that? Me? Yeah. Oh, usually I'm last. Awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I, okay. I mean, the the costumes, the outfits. Amazing. Uh, I thought that was very cool. Very fun to see. Whoever did that set, I give them all praise and respect. I mm-hmm. cannot imagine how many hours that took yeah, to wow. set that set up. <laughs> I, <watch> um, <laughs> I just got done filming uh, like two days straight with Necroma for their movie. And like just to get one shot can take like two hours, you know? And you're standing there and, and, and to do all those costumes. I don't even want to know, honestly. Like that's amazing. So, so for sheer force of work, solid A there. Um, the the Polaroid type snapshot look, I thought that was kind of a cool tribute to maybe Idol. Uh, Idol, uh, the I, Idol yeah, experience Chuckies, is all yeah. built around Bupon, Checkies. Um, I don't necessarily think that's what they were going for, but I think on some subtle level, if Sashi had any say in it, she would be going back to her Hello Project days and like probably thinking about when she was go into like the underworld of idol and stuff and she you know i'm sure she's had checkies so yeah. i i think maybe there's there's that too a subtle reference perhaps um outside of that i agree with you colin i thought the costumes were a little bland or what they were wearing was just it was it sort of just felt like they were put together it wasn't yeah. coordinated i don't like the all white for the actual dance sequences even though white signifies yeah. graduation i get it i just thought with sashi she'd want to do something creative like why not mm-hmm. like she's going out like who cares you know um, and then again, it doesn't help that the song is just not 
there's not it's not in the <coughs> it's just bland. Like you like you said, Robin, it's it's a song like we'll we'll be like what came out last year? Like you you said it perfectly there. Uh, overall, the MV, there were a few really good shots. There was one shot of Nacha on me, and she looked amazing. It was, like, a yeah. super quick shot where she's, like, like that. And, like, her face was just, like, whoa. Like, but she's she's got that face. You know, she can do the Majime face and capture your heart in two seconds. Uh, Sashi looked amazing. Um, I'll give her that. Sashi, as, as ever, looked absolutely incredible. Um, you could dress her in a in a dirt bag and she would look amazing. So yeah. <laughs> the thing is, is like, you know, again, camera work, artwork, all that is exceptional. There, there's no questions there. The AKB uh, camera people have this down to a science at this point, but that's also the problem. It's the same. It's the same as it was the past XXX videos. Like, there's nothing really big there to make me go wow, except for the costumes. The, the costume set piece. That person deserves an Emmy or Oscar, whatever they give for set designers. But other than that, I'd say, eh, you know, a C, C minus. I'm being generous when I say that. Maybe. Mm, something like that. <laughs> so, yeah. DX. Something like that. No, DX, personally, yeah, what do you think? I really, yeah. Personally, I really love the set with all the costumes because I some, saw mm. some of my favorite costumes back there, like an oh. Iwaki, maybe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Especially, I really like the black and white outfit from Green Flash. I really loved it. And to see it, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. it was awesome. Robin's favorite yeah. song. <laughs> <laughs> Point taken. <laughs> but for the rest, the the Polaroid style uh, seats were pretty fun as well because yeah, it reminded me of Jackies and off shots and usually the shots they take during their downtime pretty much when they're at the set. So those were fun as well, but the rest, the costume for this song, it's not for me as well as the song. It, it's kind of forgettable to be honest, to be, mm. quite, to be quite honest. So, mm. Mm. the the Polaroid scene and the and the costume set, those are top notch in my opinion. Only sadly mm. being dragged down by the rest, sadly. So. Okay, so then I want your opinion, DX, on the coupling song that followed uh, with Sashi. What do you think about that uh, thing? Oh, you mean that, that Sashi one, or the Dead Reno one? Yeah, Dead Reno. <laughs> when I saw the start of that video, I saw her laughing, laughing, laughing all the time. It's like, uh, this can't be that healthy. And <laughs> sure enough, she is actually dead. And when she was basically a wandering soul, it was fun to do her, non to act like not... It's fun to see her not like not act like an idol. So eating snacks everywhere, just going to random places. I have a feeling though. We have. Uh, I have a feeling more um, again in again origin are going to be in this video. Like for example, a uh, Gold mm. Son or even other comedians. I would say. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's, I saw them too. Yeah. A lot of them were in there because uh, exactly. of all the so, shows she does. Yes. Mm. <sighs> Still though. This, this video basically she dies <laughs> yep and yeah. then she's like oh thank god i'm dead <laughs> i can finally do all the things i actually want to do and it's like i don't know if this is a good message to who <laughs> yeah. sent to you it, it's really a basically a fun throwaway but does this count as her graduation song yeah yeah it is it is actually. it's the totally opposite well it, it's it's her i would say but mm, yeah it it's it. Could you imagine this song being at the end? It's like you. This is not a a, a tearjerker, of course. This is just like. No. Hmm. This this is what we were expecting of the A Pretty side, much. kinda. Yeah. In a sense, more of the style, not per se the execution. It is but bright not, though. Not all graduation <laughs> songs have to be sad though, because even Oshima Yuko's wasn't that sad. No, no, no. They tend to be. They tend to be, but that's not hmm. always the case, I would say. So. Oh, Mayu uh, was kind of... Uh, Sayanese was... I'm thinking now. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it tends to be. So, it's a, it's a change. It's oh, change. Uh, but... at the concert, there will probably be a song that will be the uh, the very, very teary uh, end to that. Or maybe the HKT song that's coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think the true graduation song will be on the HKT single. Actually. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Colin, any uh, opinions on the MV? 
Uh, I I will always remember this song as the fake laugh compilation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like you know you know when you look at AK Bingo it, or when you watch AK Bingo, it's like yeah you know sometimes you can see it's like yeah ha, 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 you know uh-huh. for show. Sure. Uh, this was like it, it kind of annoyed me. It's like wow she's really good at fake laughing, but not in a way that's convincing. But maybe that's me just seeing right through it. Um, Maybe she just got overloaded pretty much, so yeah. Yeah, kind of. So I, 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 I do kind of find it funny, like, the payoff on it. Uh, so that's like, you know, it, it mixes it well. Uh, otherwise, um, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's not really a song that uh, interested me. It, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, I give it that. Um, funny concept, uh, but I don't know. I, I can't remember the song either. But it's I don't have a particular complaint about it. All right, Derek. For the the what you call it the um, dead Reno the the video, yeah, yeah. like I I kind of have to agree with Colin what he was saying, but I I also think like you know it it was really nice to see Sashi kind of being the Sashi, you know, yeah. But mm-hmm. it, it's also like I don't really think it was necessary. Like, hey, there's it's not instant classic, so it's like hey, there's nothing there for me that like. I can hold on to, but it was also like I kept thinking like, well, technically the last song for Sashi is like the HKT song she's gonna do, yeah. Yep. So like, this was kind of like a final, not final MV. So yeah. in that sense, I it's not that I didn't pay attention to it. It's just nothing really stuck out for me. You know, it, it wasn't there wasn't anything I could hold on to. I, I'm actually really in line with what Colin said. Like, if I would have went first, I probably would have said exactly what Colin said. So, I kind of have to defer to him on this. Like, um, I think he hit, for once, we're actually in total agreement. Uh, no, but, no. but, like, I, I, I... That's like the sixth okay, time or I'm, so. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just like, but you get my point. Like, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm totally. just like, eh, you know, it, 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 that's, that's about it. I, I don't know. I don't really have much else to say except it was just, it was there, you know? Sashi was cool in it. But other than that, the the, the melody, nothing really kind of like, you know, stabbed me in the heart. You know, was like, oh my god, gotta keep this. It so. didn't stab your heart. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, All right, then there was a uh, another coupling song that came out. It's the uh, Sakamichi AKB song that came out. Okay. What are your opinions Hatsukoi on that, Derek? Hatsukoi Door. Yep. So, Derek, yep. what's your Derek. opinion on that one? Sorry, you cut out there for a second. Um. I mean, again, it, it's like even though it's Sakamichi, like it didn't, it, it also didn't really do much for me. Uh, it wasn't that powerful to me. Um, I mean, I, I think we think Sakamichi is going to be this like crazy awesome thing because the past couple of Sakamichi songs have been kind of really like interesting, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I almost felt like they were like the same videos in a way. Like I, I don't know, like I didn't really. It didn't How have that Sakamichi it? feel. It, 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 it didn't no, have it, typical it, Sakamichi feel. You know, it's more like I expected. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> The last Sakabichi songs, they were dark and really mm. dance heavy. And this yeah, was like, like, it's like, huh? Is this Sakabichi? Are you for real? Well, what is the I first actually... thing you notice about the difference compared to the other Sakamichi? Color. color. It just, it, the color. It, it was, there was tons of color versus the I other would, ones were more chaos. I would yeah, say you know? the members. All oh, the members too, yeah. yeah. E- except for Kea had their, uh, you know, some prominent members in there. You know, Habu, Suzumoto, Sugai, mm. Koike, uh, Kobayashi, Yui, and um, um, Saito was in there. Mm. Uh, the rest, on Nogizaka's side, it was all third gen. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. Hinata uh, Zaka 46. I am currently still clueless on uh, which members. <laughs> Apologies for that. Um... But then on the AKB side, on the group, it was, you know, they're just the fresh members, I would say. Yeah. I, I remember, I, I see a few names in there, but the other ones are like, oh, okay, um, interesting. But the rest, by the way, the MV, it's the song, everything is too fast. It it's <laughs> It goes like, I'm just, just slow down. I just want to <laughs> see the members. They're like... 22 of you and 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 there, there's not a moment i can see and it goes like flash flash cut 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 and then they have this filter on it with neon lights and first i'm, I'm guessing like who are the members okay so i see two they're all in white except for two lines and then you have to guess the color that's what so green is kea akb is pink nogi is purple and then blue is hinatazaka 46 and then it's like okay wait, those colors are, are similar because it's on white so it's like 
who, who, uh, I gave up. It's like <laughs> the song is way too fast. I I cannot follow it. It's it's not fun to listen to, and yeah, as aside for the few members, they seem to have fun, but other than that, not my thing. Uh. Now that old man Robin is done. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to say that um, I like it surprisingly enough um, I do like the MV I like uh, what I really like is that electrical energy that they do I think that's like something that I really like I actually don't mind the colors it's I, I, I just really like looking at it um, surprisingly enough the song kind of works for me too um, just before the chorus uh, well a bit before the chorus it sounds I, I can't explain it to you, but it really clicks with me for some reason. And even the chorus itself uh, it sounds surprising. Uh, and well, I'm surprised that I kind of dig it, actually. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm fine with this, actually. I kind of I, I, I dig it. I wasn't expecting to like it, but I do. Hmm. Cool. I do think that the center, uh, Yamashita Mizuki... I, I, she didn't really appear at that much. I didn't felt like she was the center. I thought mm. you, you, you was the center for this yeah. song. For I me, uh, think... for me, Kea just stole the show every time they were on screen. Especially Habu being there, and then Sumoto, Kobayashi. I, I, I can name them all again because mm-hmm. I think lately I've been also on a Kea vibe. And since their stock is going up again and their KV is going down, it's like their my attention has more so gone over there, especially after, again, foreshadowing for what later is happening. It's like, my, my interest is lately going away from AKB48 and moving more towards uh, the KS side, since that has more of my interest in there. I think maybe I that's also influence. Uh, yeah, ahead, I have it with BNK. Yeah, same, yeah. BNK, that, that, that's, that's a topic we're also uh, going to feature up there. That, that that's, that's perfectly not a good reason to follow right now, so... We'll get to that later, but AKB48 is in trouble, in my opinion. It, we, like, we have, yeah, we have still one B-side to go, don't forget. I don't know if you want to... Yeah, 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 go ahead. Okay, not, uh, uh, the, another one is uh, Generation Change. Um, okay, I, I'm going to say it. This is my favorite song of the whole thing. Yes, uh, I oh. love it. Yeah, well, we still have one song, I think, needs to be revealed. But so far, I, 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 I like it. Like, when I saw it, I was like... Wait, who is the center? Nishikawa Ray? Oh my god, I was I was so happy. That was such a great surprise that she is the center for it. Uh, like I was like, oh, th- th- I, it just made me smile. I was so happy for her. Uh, I really like the piano in this one. Uh, it really has a fairy tale vibe, the entire MV and even the song, and it really appeals to me. Uh, I really like that that it, they play it kind of cinematic, like really with the shadows. Uh, the presentation of it—it it really makes it feel like a fairy tale uh, kind of uh, MV, and I, I I do like it. It feels like an AKB song more than Juwaru days, but that's my opinion. Uh, I think the costumes are a bit meh. Uh, I do like them in p- uh, pajamas. I think that's that's kind of cute. <laughs> uh, I I thought that was fun, though not on, when they were spinning. I was like, yeah, that makes <laughs> reminds me of the Junkin single from two. Oh yeah, oh man. <laughs> um, but uh, I, uh, I I liked it. It was a beat. It had nice energy. I, I thought the sound was very pleasant. I uh, I'm surprised that I like it as much. I thought I would, but I I, I like it. It uh, oh uh, it has a very fun chorus. At, uh, or before the chorus, it has this build up, and then it explodes. And I really yeah. like uh, when they do that, and that totally works for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the X. Actually, I've got the same opinion as Colin. Uh, when I heard the song itself last week, it was previewed on the radio show by Miyazaki Mio, I think. And True. when I first heard it, it's like, is this the company song? Why isn't this the A song? Because it works way better than Jiwaro days, to be quite honest. Yeah. And I can actually see myself working out at this song. It's fast beat, it's, it's high energy, it's high level, high tempo. I really quite like it. Uh, the video. It was enjoyable, but I listened this. I really enjoyed the song more than the video, I would say. So I'm going for the song more on that song. So, but all in all, to be honest, this should have been the A side and not Chihuahua Dice, but that's my opinion. Okay. Uh, well, personally, the, the feeling to that song is. Yeah, it, it gets into your head, but it doesn't stick. It, it is something that. 
you can listen to and you put it on. There's something. If, if it was on a concert, you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah I remember that song. You see the members that, that you don't normally see as much, and you know with uh, the center being there as well. That's all good and dandy. Um, but like you said, if that's already better than the A side, then it still goes to my opinion that the A side is even worse than we thought. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with it's it's fun in the moment, but afterwards it loses something. I do agree there. I, I do agree. But again, it, it's it's not a bad song, and then that's the whole thing with this quality system. The songs, it, it, there is work in there, but you don't feel the passion behind it, and that's always with coupling songs, but also with this A side. To be honest, it's it, <laughs> it, 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 it's really just lately just. Uh, I don't want to be too negative on AKB48, but... It, no, it's we a, don't. <laughs> it's, it's like, I just want them to succeed and then and, and feel something in there that's throwing me out. That, like, I want to listen to this daily or something that's getting there. But mm-hmm. they are currently out of touch. That, that's my biggest feeling. And even with this song, it's it's all more of the same. You said, oh, they look like this one, like the the one from the Junkin'. Or they look like... It's always something you can be like, oh, it's it's similar to this song. It's never like... Well, there are maybe some elements, but it's never like this is their own thing, and that's what I'm missing currently. Uh, there, you have any mm. opinion on this side? Yeah, like I, I, again, I mean, you guys are hitting the nail on the head here. I don't really have a whole lot to say about these because, to be honest with you, like I watched once and I forgot it already. Like to be honest, they just they did not leave an impression on me. Um, both like like the videos, the A, the B sides were really like blurring together for me. It's almost like they took the same sets and like did different lighting for them. That was the only distinction. I hate to be so critical, but at the same time, like you know, song-wise, you know, a little better uh, than GR days. I, I I won't say much better, but uh, I could get into them a little more. The one had a little bit more of a dance vibe to it, so that was cool. Um, but I I think overall, again, they're just it, it, it's like how do I put it? A combination of, I think, people rolling out the same product to produce certain results and not really caring about the creative side versus the idols are just kind of phoning in the, their their performances. And when you, when you can step it up to, like, Kiroi Tsuji, you know, where you have Techi, like, bearing her soul and, like, you have the other KM members supporting her and shoving her and you got this all this emotional stuff going on. I mean, I'm not saying idol has to be this emotional, intense thing. For most cases, idol is a fun thing, it's escapism thing. But it's like, it's hard for me to escape <laughs> my opinion of it being just mediocre. And 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 hear me out when I say that. I want to be impressed because I again, I I come from a world where creativity is painted on the walls everywhere I go, and and I get to be around some of the most creative groups in the entire universe, not just musically, but in the in the, the whole universe. I am around people that are defining music, defining it with the music they're making. So AKB, again, I love them. I'll always support them. But I feel like they really, and I hate to keep beating the, the, the same drum here, they got to gotta tap the creative end a little more. Um, I, I think overall, the B-sides don't necessarily have to be creative by definition, but why not? You know, if you're gonna make, if you're gonna approach an AKB song like, okay, we have the single plus coupling songs, you're looking at it as an EP almost. You know, when I was in a band, we put an EP. Those five songs, we didn't do one good song and four crappy songs. Every song meant something. So for me, the coupling songs, they're not so much coupling songs as they are A sides waiting to be A sides. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. like they're just waiting to break out. And it's like we've seen that. We've seen that before with some of the old coupling songs. You remember a couple singles ago? Um, what was the one MV where the girls were like floating down and they were like stopping in midair, like and it was Michan Center, like Mion and Michan, like were most. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. It's a Senbatsu, like, the Undergirls uh, song. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that was phenomenal. That was spectacular. The more I thought about that MV compared to this, I'm like, now see, they put some thought into that, and we've seen that over and over again with some very creative stuff they've done over the years with coupling songs. But again, it's like. You know, today what marks the anniversary of what, what was what's the one song? Zen, Zen, yeah, Jun and Sakura. Thank you. Listen to that song, and then listen to every song up to your hour days, including your hour, and tell me what the difference is, and you get my point. Yeah, it's not because it's old. It's not because it's nostalgic. It's because that song is a freaking masterpiece. 
It's classic. That instant, the, the first verse, you are already, it's burning your memory. You'll never forget it. Versus these songs, I, I, I can't even I can't even hum you a single note. And that is a think about that. Very good segue to the uh, other I side did. for BNK48 came Ooh. out with. Got lots to say about that. So yeah, I'm yeah that for get a line. <laughs> for <laughs> beginner and the undergirl song, Kimi wa Goto Suki Takara. So yeah, th- exactly what you just said, Derek. It doesn't matter how old the song is. Or how uh, nope. how it goes, it has to has that moment, and I will go for Colin because he's more on the BNK side on this in detail. But I just want to say I watched the uh, event mm-hmm. and so, yeah. the reveal, the, the the hype, the amazement was there was uh, a lot of fun, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. and um, basically this was my first BNK48 uh, event that I watched live, mm-hmm. and it was very much fun to see. The the song I I when they first did the uh, undergirl song, yeah. I was already impressed. I was like, ah, this is a lot of fun. Everybody's uh, looking brightly, shining brightly. I remember the song, how hyped it is. And then they do the hype for beginner. Oh yeah. Oh man. And and it's we're, so beginner also came out with the MV, and it's like this is this is how you should do it. AKB, look this. <laughs> take a look at your longer. Take a look at your uh, honor student. Do it. Copy yeah, it. it's 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 so good. It's it's really really good, and they already have now 1.8 million uh, views within like a week, and and yeah, this this is how it's supposed to be, and and it, they did it with a song that's already 10 years old, something like that. It was oh, a river. Yeah. It was a coupling song for a river, so yeah, should be. A oh, that, uh, even older than no? Is it older than Chinon Sakura? No. D- Nine. I want to say nine years. Or so. Nine years. So we're ge- we're getting there, but still, it's it's great. Looking great on that side. Um, go ahead, DX. What do you think about uh, these two songs? When I first heard Kimi no Kotokasuki Dakra back then, it was like, yeah, I really like this. And it, I, back then, I didn't even know it was a coupling song. It was not even an A side song. And just goes to show you that song is one of the god like god tier songs. Mm-hmm. To be quite honest. Oh yeah. And when I heard. BNK, they spin on it. It's like, yeah, they did exactly the same thing, but they me fall in love with this song back then, and it's happening again now. It's more like I'm enjoying it. And when I watched that performance uh, before the recording, you guys were talking about it, but Izurina, she was shining, man. Mm. She was shining. Oh my god. It's more like... uh, this was more like if BNK can put out such high level performances. What the heck is it can be doing it? I'm Sorry still, I'm still, still puzzled about it. So yeah, but that's my opinion. I really quite enjoy it. And then beginner, when I saw the MV, oh wow, that was like the fighting, the whole aspect of about fighting and basically fighting against yourself. It's, I had a feeling like, are they setting this up for the next single to be Bukutashi wa Tataka or something? Oh like yeah, yeah. I remember saying that to you, Colin. It's more like mm-hmm. if they, true. If, yeah. If they if they use Bukitashiwa Tataka and I after this song, that's what a hell of a streak, I would say. Oh, uh, to go further on that one, I was talking with Matt like just before that, and we were talking about uh, yeah, she loved it too. I loved it too. Uh, and we were talking about what they should do next because we we both wanted like a part two to this because it's really open to be a part two, uh, and we mm. were like uh, brainstorming which songs it could be and i forgot which one we were talking about but then you came and it's like yes that's the one that's the one why why did i forgot like that one it's like they they, they really can do something uh there with this one to really yeah, they don't necessarily have to do it but it would be kind of cool i'd say because it's freaking amazing <laughs> yeah but the x the, the finish finish no but all in all to make it into a conclusion both songs, solid A for me pers- personally, song-wise. And the video-wise, mm. uh, Kimi no Kataga doesn't have a video quite yet, so I can't mm-hmm. uh, say much about that. But for a beginner, <coughs> a, regular a, uh, a regular A, which is top-notch, because we haven't seen anything that good from AKB lately. So, yeah, I have to go with that. And Time to move on. Uh, that was a good one. Um, so yeah, uh, Saturday they had a concert. BNK48, thank you, and beginner. 
on the 2nd of March, and they did like four songs before that, three or four. It, uh, not many songs, it, it was a long concert kind of event thingy. Uh, and then they did uh, Kimi no Suki Dakara, and that was, that was so much wow. Uh, so, uh, Izurina, wow, just wow. I, I was looking at it. I'm like, I couldn't keep my eyes off Isarina. I don't necessarily think yeah. that she is, you know, in the top 20 most beautiful girls of all time. But I just could not not watch her. It's like, it really, it's kind of the same feeling that I felt when she ranked in at number 21. Uh And uh, it, it's like, it, it, it just made me smile to see her and really really shine and i know i'm not the only one someone else told me like someone who can actually understand thai uh that like a good percent like a good vast majority of the people watching it thought that she did kind of a better job than the actual center uh you know i don't want to crap on her because she lovely girl uh i I think such she is like really nice really cute girl uh i i do like her i do enjoy her but it's like really with Isarina, I think it's more because having followed her from AKB, seeing her there perform, it's like the biggest smile, the biggest presence in my opinion that day. Uh, that was just so much fun. The song is great. The, the MV hasn't come out at, uh, yet, but I really want to see it. I think it's a good contrast to the uh, A side, which I, I don't particularly care if that is is a thing like an a side and a b side are so contrasting but uh contrasting uh but i i i i it seems like something that i would enjoy too, too but it's ah, it, it was so much fun of a performance and then beginner the build up to this was so wow it's like uh i i i that was just so amazing like each member came on this uh on the podium and uh, wearing this black cloak uh, cloth uh like almost like star wars kind of thing you could <laughs> put the star wars soundtrack <laughs> over that one um and chair prong held a flag and then they came all on the stage and then when she came because she's the center she threw the flag on the uh, on the on the ground just before the podium and they performed the song and it was just so amazing that was so great. Jeprong, the only complaint I have is that her costume doesn't particularly stand out to me. And I feel that usually the center should have like an alteration that makes her mm-hmm. appear more like center. Like with, of course, her fortune cookie. Like Sashi has like a crown hat kind of thing. Yeah. Um, or you know, something like, I don't know. Flying Both, guest. Yeah, that too. I was actually thinking about Tsukinanda and Juichi Gatsuno Anklet, where it's just more of a, how do you say, more of a dress behind them, longer than the usual ones. Just a bit more to stand out. Which Clarity who have. the center is, yeah. Yeah, uh, but yeah, like that. That was the only complaint that I have, but I love the costumes. I think the performance was really great. And the MV, 10 out of 10 for me. I had high expectations of it. Really, with all the information that I've gotten from uh, the, the fans, what they have to say about how BNK does, uh, the official, they do stuff. And uh, I really had high hopes for this one. I really wanted for it to be a, an improvement and really sell well in that as, uh, aspect. And my expectations were more than met. It was amazing. Uh, the, the, um, the MV itself, I haven't been around <coughs> for a while. Uh, it, it looks amazing. I love the fighting. I think it was shot very well. Uh, the the bad guy, I think he was also very fun. I think he did a good job as well. Um, and that reveal at the end where it's basically Cheprong um, was, wow, I did not see it coming. I, did, I think they did it quite well for how they could have pulled it off. And that last, I really think some two shots, two shots were very good. That was music, no, no, mobile, mobile. Mm. The center for Corsair Fortune Cookie. She had this. She turned around. Uh, hello. Um, you got you that Colin. Uh oh. Maybe I. That was my uh, desk. Either way, uh, <laughs> the center uh, for Corsair Fortune Cookie had this great shot, and when uh, it was also shown live, 
And when that shot happened, everyone went, whoa! That was so cool. Like, she had a great shot, as well as the ending um, where they uh, Chaperon clashes with herself, which was done very nicely. And they really make it like a one-shot where you kind of go, hey, where, where did she go? Because they don't cut it off like they really... They, they could have maybe done it better, but they did it in a good enough way where I'm like, you know what? I could almost believe that she actually vanished. Yeah. So... I thought it was amazing. Uh, really, really amazing. AKB, take notes. Chaprong because... really bedells me with her facial features. It, it, it's really intriguing to see her perform. Just, just. It, I really understand why she is the number one in Susenkyo. And, and, and basically the face of BNK48. Uh, the other ones in there, like you said, music and, and mobile, um, they, they look also being there as a good supporting cast. Mm hmm. Um, maybe in the future there there will be things, but there the distinct uh, difference between the Undergirl song and the Sambasu song was very clear to me. It's like these members are in there when they were performing live. That's a, a lot higher level compared to uh, what the Undergirls mm -hmm. did. So very impressive. I'm I'm, I'm actually very impressed with uh, BNK48 right now. And then. Uh, well, here's to the future. Um, like I said, I hope they keep going with this song. N n maybe they're they're switching it up, like uh, the cookie song in between, and then uh, a, a song that's like, uh, let's try you know Kimi Wa Melody. Let's see how that works. And it's like, ah, that's not working. Let's throw another one that's like an instant classic in there. And then next song will be I don't know. Maybe it will be uh, which one I'll think is B is with uh, Mayu. It's like Kokoro no Placado. Oh, Kokoro no Placado. There, there, I actually uh, learned like um, something from someone that that actually this song doesn't really quite appeal to the general Thai market. It's not really their style. Like more of something like Coiser Fortune Cookie or what you said, Kokoro no Placard, even Iwake maybe more that kind of style to it. That's something they uh, that appeals to that general audience over there more. But that same person also told me that this MV really made um, like uh, the, the, uh, people that weren't into BNK first really respect more and was really more of a thing that uh, like oh my god this is amazing you know it's kind of yeah. in a bit in a very small way like course or fortune cookie in a sense that more the people that didn't were fa or that weren't familiar with BNK uh, like really get into them because of this MV and the style which was which is different from what they've done before hmm. kinda you can make an exception with river but it that's that's good i think also last thing the covers are amazing yeah I, I, wow i think Jackets, they are yeah. amazing Jackets. i've actually went out of my way and was on twitter and i was like is there someone who can help me to get these cds because i want them <laughs> How much, uh, how much message did you get? <laughs> uh, I got like four people within half an hour well, uh, who basically offered to buy it for me. And But I actually also had a Japanese fan who I've been following on Twitter for a long time and he follows me as well, uh, who also likes BNK, gave me like a site, which is basically the Thai version of CD Japan. Okay. And I'm going to use that one as well. Just to see what works, uh, you know, the best. Hey, we uh, we talked about it before the show. There's one line that's still in my mind it's with the chorus. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you, I didn't notice it, but you can see it. <laughs> <that's, that's, laughs> yeah. It really comes in there. That, that, so if you have that part in a, well, basically what it is, it's a cover. Um, I didn't have it with uh, JKT48 when they did songs. When it, it, it didn't feel like the language came over so well during the songs. But with this uh, version it, in Thai, it, it really fits well. It doesn't feel forced because, you know, I don't understand Thai. But when I sound nice, then I'm already sold. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't right. care if the lyrics don't feel that great on it. If it sounds okay, then I'm, I'm already sold on the side. So, hey, they got me in hit and then... This is a very good uh, good song to to go for, I would say. But uh, Derek, what are your opinions on this? Dot, dot, dot. Derek, what's that? <laughs> uh, is the it's the X? Sorry, no, we've already done. It's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, guys. My camera it just keeps going in and out. I'm sorry. That's no, why I feel I probably seem a little weird. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. 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 Cool. 
Um, yeah, lots to say. Um, again, Colin, thank you for that really in-depth response because um, it kind of will be a counterpoint to what I'm about to say. Um, I think, for starters, for starters, um, I, I got to give it up to them. It's solid all the way around. Um, the gangster, the main gangster dude, is badass. Chaprang mm-hmm. yep. is badass. Oh mm-hmm. my god! I mean, I couldn't keep my eyes off either of them. Like they were both really yeah. intense. Um, it kind of felt like dirty and grainy and like not saying Bangkok is like that. I've never been to Bangkok. I don't know, but like when you watch stupid movies that feature Thailand, they always make it seem like it's just like underworld, like it's like yeah. real seedy. And so, if that's the way they were trying to imply through this video that Thailand is a little bit like. Not as a generalization, I, I'm sure, but like they, they, they capture that underworld aesthetic really well. Um, the fighting, it was okay. Um, I, I don't think it was as great as I think people are saying it is. To be honest with you, it isn't. I'll, I'll say why in a moment. But I love the fact that it was just done with attitude. It was done with style. Again, it helps you. You're working with an Insta Classic, so that's a lot of the work done for you right there. Beginner is one of the greatest AKB songs ever written in the history of AKB's history. So, honestly, you can't really go wrong with it, even if you're translating it to a different language. The Thai language actually really worked for me. Um, I, I felt it, it was a little more punchier, more progress, more aggressive sounding to yeah. me. Yeah. Um, Japanese tends to be a little more smoother sounding um, as a whole. Uh, thai, thai, I don't, again, I, I'm not, my ears aren't trained to hear Thai a, a lot. But it felt like it was right, more right for this song than Japanese, if I can say that. Yeah. Um, <coughs> what? I, I, I don't know. I, I just felt that. But here's, here's my two big problems with it. Not that they're even problems. They're just little picky things. Number one, around the three-minute mark, where it, before it changes into stand up together. There's that little dance sequence where they form like a triangle and they do the yeah. dance, the, the car dance. Mm-hmm. What the hell was the camera person thinking in that moment? Yeah. Yeah. I noticed it too. On top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, no, it was a side view cropped side view. Mm-hmm. I, I, I was like, this person, was this the same dude that filmed the KO live video the other week <laughs> we were talking about? Like, did they hire the same guy? Like, <laughs> what were they thinking? That is one of the most iconic, if not one of the most memorable dances in all of AKB's history. I will never forget seeing Achan, the very first time I saw Beginner's live dance video, standing in front, getting crouched down low, and then they're all crouched, and then they do the little butt wiggle, and then they're like, they're in the car mode. And it, like, works perfectly that is what i wait for in that song is that dance now granted i went you know i i I was watching other videos and things like that and and sometimes the live videos they don't they for whatever reason the camera guy doesn't record that moment which is again the most iconic moment but i've also seen big conscious where when that moment hits it's like oh like you just get goosebumps like i i get teary-eyed even just thinking about it (laughs) but it's like because i I just picture atan's beautiful face leading Marco and Yuko and Yuko's so badass in it and it's just like and, and, and to be honest, had I seen the frontal view of BNK, I swear to god they would have channeled all the old Akami Seven because they really put their hearts into this video. But that also leads me to the second big little big little problem. Watch yeah. JKT's version of Beginner and tell me that's not a better version. And the only reason I say that is because the girls in JKT got in a boxing ring and beat the living piss out of each other. And they really did it. Like, when you watch that video, I swear to God, they're really hitting each other. But, I mean, sometimes, some shots, yeah, it doesn't look like it. But it, towards the end of that video of JKT's beginner, I swear to God, they're connected. And it's like, they're not holding back in that one. Versus this one, you could tell, was totally choreographed. And again, mm. not that, that that's just a little minor pick, but I think JKT's version of the fighting component is far superior. However, however, the girls in VNK looked amazing. They looked hot. Uh, the pink, the hoodies, you know, that, that was so nostalgic when I saw that one. I was like, oh, I was like, yes. Like, it was very good. Chaprang sold it. Um, Chaprang is the Maida Asko of Thailand. Yep. I'm just yep. going to officially say that right by now. Far, yeah. uh, she's far. not the Yuko. She is the Maida no. Asko of Thailand. 
Although maybe not as sensitive, maybe not as vulnerable as that time. Mm, yeah. She's got that leadership <laughs> skill that mm -hmm. when you see her on the camera, you want to follow that girl. And that the, the the only thing I didn't like though, and and the other other like the actual video quality, I didn't like that she was facing herself at the end. I thought that was a little cheesy. It's like very <laughs> double dragon Zelda. I mean, it's like every. It, it's like so like okay. Versus JKT, they weren't making any qualms about it. They're like, yeah, we're getting the ring, we're fighting each other. But it, it, it again, it, it thematically it fits, so whatever. I just thought I was hoping for a little more creativity there. But but I'm giving this a solid A minus, and I would get a solid A if it wasn't for that stupid camera guy not getting the car <laughs> shot. Uh, but overall, I got to give it up to the girls because again, they took an Insta classic, they they paid it the right respect, they gave it the proper tribute. Their Thai language really works, I think, a lot better for the, the mm -hmm. Russian part. Um, their English is solid. I, it's super solid. Yeah. And um, Duprang is, I mean, she's a freaking superstar. I mean, she is she is next to none. Like, who would you say in JKT was the equivalent of Duprang, if you had to guess? JKT. Jessica. Mm, Jessica, maybe? Jess yeah. Jessica, right? Like, yeah. I, I don't think there's many people that probably dispute that. She is the Jessica of JKT. She is the Maida of AKB. Um, I, I don't know. I would love nothing more than see Chaprang get over to AKB and lead AKB into the future. But I know that's not going to happen, and I want BNK to have their leader. But I also think that's also me saying to the BNK fans, you got a great group of girls there. Any of those mm -hmm. girls, music, MOBA, I, any of them, pun, they could all step up. Because i got to be honest, they all shun. And is Arena, mm -hmm. oh, my God. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. That's all I'm going to say. Like, B, I, again, we keep singing BNK praises, but they they're really earning it. They're mm -hmm. earning it in this yeah. game. They they took a great song and they gave it their own spin. Again, I have my little little creative quirks. That's me being a producer slash critic of idol songs. But that those are little things I can live with. Overall, I enjoyed it. Um, solid A minus, man. I I, I got to give it up. I got to give it up to Thailand for doing it well. Oh, one more little critique. Took a little longer than I had hoped for for them to reach the million view mark. I thought they were going to reach it in a day. They didn't. <laughs> uh, no, just to be honest, I, I thought I thought the Thai fans were going to come in full force. They didn't. I was, I was a little disappointed in that. That was the weekend. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I, it's a little complaint. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, who cares? But I sort of was expecting huge numbers for this because it's so solid, and they didn't quite come through as much as I thought. But again, that doesn't, that's not a reflection on the video or anything. Just I, my no, own one, personal One critique. thing that I actually have to say on that, I saw Please. this photo from someone who compared like the first 24 hours, and this yeah. was the third highest uh, to get as fast, to get the most views in one hour. And I don't. I, I know that Coaster of Fortune Cookie didn't even get that. I forgot. Oh, okay, think, there you go. There I you think go. River was the one that had the the quickest uh, amount of most views in 24 hours. But I forgot okay. which was uh, which one was second. I okay. forgot. I don't okay. know. But, hmm. but that uh, I I kind of see where you're coming from. Maybe maybe it will build up in a week. Who knows? I, I know. I mean, by this time next week, it might have 32 million views. We just don't know. <laughs> 32. I mean, it, I mean, you never know. You never know. Yeah, I mean, again, Thai fans are they, – they have completely surprised us this year, haven't they? Yeah. They've surprised us with their massive, massive support of their girls. And to be honest, they, they it's all love us. and respect. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they have. And, <laughs> yeah. And B&K has surprised us all. Like, they've, they've become the top discussion, and they have been doing it right. I think, like, when I think about the World Sambatsu and the, the Asia Festival mm -hmm. and seeing Chiprang, mm -hmm. like, being the center for heavy rotation – it, I don't think it was just home field advantage there. I can see this girl being the biggest star of AKB48's whole family. I don't know as big as Tetsy if you want to count the note the 46 uh, family, but I'm saying like she's up there. I, I I can't really think of too many people in the AKB family at this point, other than Jarena maybe, who can like really hold a candle to this girl. She is something else. I, I'm telling you, like, wow. I mean, her alone is an A plus plus as far as everything she does, but I, I don't know. <clears throat> Solid work. Solid work. Very good. I can actually entirely close this uh, topic off with the original motto from beginner. Konkai no AKB wa kanari yabai, or probably in English, AKB this time is considerably amazing. 
I think that is for BNK. Yeah. Amen. Very Amen good. That. Yes. Um, okay, then let, let's move on to our next uh, big item, I would say. Uh, let's just go f a little bit for the graduation announcements that happened. Uh, Colin, you had mm -hmm. one you wanted to mention. Uh, yeah, uh, HKT's uh, Tomi uh, Yaru Asuka, I think. Tomiyoshi. Tomiyoshi, thank you. Um, she announced graduation earlier this week. Um, I, I, it's not that I was like oshing her or anything, but I do remember something from last year. Uh, I think it was January where the news came out that her father passed away. And that always mm. stuck with me. And uh, to see her graduate, uh, she didn't participate in Susankyo last year for reasons that are obvious. Um, but it's like, uh, you know, that, that's uh, it's it's a kind of bittersweet. Like I hope she does well. I just wanted to bring it up because I think uh, it's uh, something worth to bring mm. up. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, good luck to her. Is all I gotta say. Yeah. Hopefully she'll find something that's uh, more suitable for her than. Mm. She had in the HKT 48. Um, but yeah, the, the biggest thing that happened actually today as yeah. of this recording. A few hours ago, yeah. Oh, okay, so... What happened was, on AKB 48's uh, performance today, there was uh, Takahashi Juri's uh, birthday stage. Mm -hmm. And at the end of her birthday stage, you can already see that uh, Fukuoka Sena had the feeling what's coming up. And yes, Takahashi Judy announced graduation of the group. Plus the announcement, uh. she has been signed by Vulem Entertainment, that is yep. in Korea. That's yep. basically the same people over there. Uh, two members are in Ice One. Yes, J One and, and Umbi. Oh, no, Umbi, Umbi, sorry, yeah. Umbi yeah. and J One. J One, no, no, J One, J One, J One, W. I thought it was Minju was in there. No, I thought it was J1. Oh, okay. Well, still, two members of Ice One in there, and uh, she's now signed to that um, entertainment, Wool Entertainment to proceed in a new group. Um, so you can't uh, give any further details since it's still in development, but yeah, this is. Um, when she announced it, the crowd in, in it was completely silenced. They were just like. And, and and you could tell that they weren't happy. Not not the fact that she's graduating, but also to the fact it's like you're moving to Korea. You basically are giving everything up just to that. That's the feeling. But uh, the funny side is worldwide, though, everyone was like, "Whoa, yeah, buddy!" Exactly. Like Twitter was just going crazy. Was trending worldwide. That's amazing feature for her. It proves the fact. And this was whole discussion that's coming up. It's like. You have these amazing, talented members in the group, and they are being closed off basically from the world, because like, no, no, you need to focus on Japan. Japan, this, Japan, that, that. But there's so much more out there. There's so much more fan base for worldwide, and a lot of members are starting to see that. We've been seeing this, yep. you know, with uh, uh, Taguchi Miu, uh, Miyazaki Miao, just to name a few on there, and. Even Miyawaki Sakura, she's like now this is world known member that she never had before in HKT48, and it's been clear. And the, maybe this was the downside from Protus48, but it's now clear to them. It's like AKB48 is not the only option anymore. Nope. If you want to be an artist, there's a whole world out there now. So yeah. Yeah. So what are my thoughts on the announcement itself? Sad to see her go. Because there was a time where she was in line for being the next Sokantaku. Yep. That was the feeling. You know, the, all the jokes, Yo, Sokantaku and stuff like that, uh, with uh, Yokoyama Yui being in there. Yeah. Um, but since Mion was the announcement, I think her line and vision was clear. And with Protoss 48, she was getting very far. She learned the language, of course. I had a good feeling. She has this Korean fan base. St uh, influence in her, you know, every time she does an Insta Live or a showroom, yep. anyway. And and it's clear to her if I want to go with my career a little further, then this is the next step for me. So I full heartedly uh, support it. It, it. It's great for her. Um, I'm, I'm willing to see what's happening, but. But maybe 
to be quite honest, maybe this is finally the eye opener and management need to actually utilize this girl to their potential because what they're doing right now, I'm not sure what they're doing, but they're doing wrong. And to be quite honest, she's not going to be the only one who's going to leave for Korea, to be quite honest. My feeling now is, um, I totally forgot this by the way, but did um, Mutotomu announce graduation? Nope. Nope. Not yet, right? No. Nope. My feeling is she will soon. Be because uh, my feeling now is uh, Koji Mamako announced her graduation. Ha has she said what she was going to do? Nope. No. No, mm I don't think so. So we talked this, uh, on our, our chat before the show, and my feeling is that more formerly AKB48 members are with Wulim Entertainment now. That the new group will be in all... Japanese group in Korea. I wouldn't basically. say just William. I I wouldn't say just William Entertainment, but more of the all the agencies that participated in Polish for the. Maybe so. something, but they're gonna create a new group, and I think it will be with Takashi Zuri and Koji Mamako and Muto Tomu. That's my feeling because those were three were at Produce Forty Eight when they did um, Black uh, Black Pink. Yeah. And. They were very good, actually. It still kept in there. They had a lot of following fan base, and I know the close relationship with uh, Mako and Judy, of course. So I wonder if those two will just stick together and and move to Korea on that side. I don't know about Mutatomi, yeah. but it, it's my feeling that they're going over there. That that's the idea. But a lot of members. This is an, again a Sembatsu member saying goodbye once again in this year. And people already like speculating this so Senkyo this year is gonna be a mess. Yep. It is Do you mean that in a good way or in a bad way? Like messy messy like two thousand seventeen or in another way? I, I think you're missing so much prominent members. It will be a good opportunity for new members. But since so or many Or maybe like uh uh existing members that are kind of in the middle. Yeah, it it it's I don't know, they're we're losing the hook on the faces of yeah. Agri. You know, I, you're, you're, seen... you're, you're, you're true Kami 7. That's yeah, my idea. Yeah, the pillars. Yeah, I've been saying that for a while. Yeah, and then again, uh, Takajuri was also a captain of Team B, so they're captainless mm. again. again. Again, yes. Yeah. Oh. Again. Boy, could they could do any more with that. Jeez. <laughs> But then again, but they, then again, I mean, it almost seems like the captain position doesn't even have as much weight as it used to. You have to wonder that these days, you know? No, Not true. really, I think. Still, uh, to me, the final say on this is uh, it's a loss, but I will see where she's going in the future and, you know, just keep following her. That will be fine because the answer is not anymore in AKB. It's, it's no, elsewhere. Exactly. And the members are seeing it, not only the fans. So that's a scary thought to going for the rest of the year. Uh, what are you guys' opinion on this whole situation, uh, DX? Well, yeah. well, maybe this is finally the eye-opener management needed, or the proverbial kick to do something, to use the members to their full potential, because if they didn't push, for example, Shitamu, the way they're pushing now, she would have been to Korea a long time ago, because I've followed Shitamu for a bit now, and her fan base in Korea is way bigger than it ever was in Japan. So, and that's not the only example. Even for example, Miyazaki Miu, Mi Miyazaki Miu, Miho, she might be going, maybe soon, maybe not. But there are so many questions right now. Suddenly, it's more like it has basically become a sports team. Who's going to transfer to Korea, per, for example? So yeah, but so many possibilities now. So yeah, this is really the preferably your kick management needed to fully utilize the all the girls they have actually because they're not exclusive anymore that much that much is certain now hmm. but for the graduation oh. but for the graduations itself i just i was i still gonna follow takashi jiri long because she is that member she draws attention and you always want to know what she's up to again so i still follow her very good colin I wholeheartedly agree with what uh, DX said about really hoping that AKS finally bothers to look behind them and see who's been kicking them for a long time. Uh, because we have <laughs> been kicking them for a long time, but they just don't notice. You know, it's like a three-year-old uh, plugging on your uh, jacket and be like, nah, 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 nah. You know, basically like Stewie, mom, 
mom, mom, <laughs> mom. Kind of like that. Um, I, I, I really hope, uh, like I said, we have been kicking them for a long time. I really hope that this is finally the straw that breaks the camel's back, that they finally are like, we need to do something, otherwise we are losing high-ranking Sasenko members that do very well, you know, a lot of votes, a lot of money, uh, which is now kind of gone, uh, or even... I don't know how she does in handshakes. That's Pretty so, good. I, I don't follow handshakes in general, so it's like... Or the sales. Uh, so, uh, top seven. I, I, top so seven. I see... I, I, I don't know. I don't know for anyone, actually. But, you know, that's... I, I really, really hope that AKS is like, ah, okay. Okay, we need to do something. Uh, you know, it's it's ah, it's. And I'm I'm also very sad that Team B loses another captain again. Uh, Kizaki Yuria, I forget when she announced graduation specifically. Two thousand since when she was. Yeah, kind of from that point until like the announcement on this 2017 anniversary, uh, where it was announced that Jiri would be the team captain. Uh, Though there's also the fact that the Team B stage didn't happen until like seven, eight months later, long after Sasankyo. And, the fir- and to compare, the first uh, team stage was in April of 2018. There were two teams that had their performance before Sasankyo. I want to say four at least. I, I, it's, B was late. I, I, I don't remember uh, A and K. But it's it's like I, I it's again another captain loss. It's like damn it again for them, which also brings up the question for me: Who will be the captain? Because there mm. isn't you know I love my team B. I totally love them, but captain I'm not really sure who could. Fukuka you know, that, Sena. That's someone right? that I have brought yeah. up. Um, I that would be amazing. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I I I would like to see it, but I'm not. You know, 100%. It's like 90%, but those 10% is like, really, like, can she? Because she's a bit young, but, you know, Komi is young too, and she's great. Yeah, so Mikuri and Shimeon like, is also 15 gen, and that's uh, upcoming like, Sokantoku. I would really like that for that to happen, because I don't quite know who else. You know, there's Yukurin, there's y- Oya, but it's like, eh, you know. So I, mm. I really, you know, if this had been, like, another group, I think that we would have been able to, like, name two people. But with Team B, it's like, I don't know who. Unless, you know, they have been uh, doing the performances, like four performances, Team B performances, that is, uh, without Jury, because she had, you know, that accident, so she couldn't appear. And it's like, you do kind of feel that there that there needs to be, like, a captain. Also doesn't help that three members, Megu, Saho, and Otanao, are doing a stage where... A lot of uh, Team B girls are kind of gone to do uh, stuff. So, so much so that that it was... I, I want to finish that before you're going to say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, like two Kankyusis at least that performed for the first time on the B- Team B stage. It's like they need to have a certain amount of members, but it's like, you know, when, you know, one is, you know, granted, you know, had an accident, so that's fine. But there's also, you know, the ones that have other jobs. So it's like, yeah, and I really like the Team B performances. So it's like, ah, you know, kind of sad on that front. But continue, mm. Robert. You just said about the accidents that she had. Now I wonder. Was that... This is totally speculating. Do not take any fact out of this. This is just an idea that popped on my head. What if she didn't have that accident at all? What if that day... She had a appointment with Wulim Entertainment to sign the contract. Oh, ooh, dangerous territory, dude! Dangerous territory there. Interesting. Well, I mean, it's it's uh, it's pretty normal for idols to lie. I mean, I, I hate to break people's bubble there when it comes to idols, but when idols say that they're having a sick day, that could mean anything from I'm hungover from drinking the night before to. You know, um, I can't get out of bed with the guy I'm sleeping with. I mean, I hate to be like that honest, but like it, it's idols are humans, and um, you know, past the visage of escapism and and the whole fantasy complex that we, we put on them, you know, they do they do or they're business minded. So, actually, Robin, your idea, it's totally plausible that she didn't want to hurt her fans. So, you know, she's gonna go make this deal. But then again, at the same time. 
she could do that anytime. You know, yeah. she wouldn't have to necessarily miss a performance for that, I would think, or something, you know? Uh, depends yeah. on what the entertainment company was saying. Um, they were still true, in negotiations. True, true. And they're like, oh, you have to, on this day, but my birthday stays on this day. Well, if you don't want to sign the contract, it's like, ah. Uh... Ah, true, true. I, I, totally speculating, by the way. Uh, there's no proof. So, uh, this is not even debatable on that side. It, look, if, if she was truly in an accident, then glad she's fine, and then hopefully everything is okay. Um, it's just yeah. the timing. When Colin just mentions, I'm like, wait a minute. That That's my feeling, since it wasn't that long ago, and it could be since all things are now going really fast. But... Uh, Derek, your opinion on the whole situation with Takashi Judy announcing graduation and moving to Korea? Yeah, like, I, well, there's been a lot of already um, slapback from this. Um, I mean, I think I read something on Facebook. One dude was like, "Whoa, he was mad." Um, uh, but here's yeah. the here, here's the thing. Jur jury's been kind of. Don't you get the sense from her, any of you, that like this past year she's been wounded? Like she kind of felt oh, yeah. like she's been, she's like a wounded dog, like and I, I but by calling her dog, I'm not implying anything about her looks or anything. I'm just saying like in general. Hell no, like, she's um, so pretty. She, mm -hmm. like she just, I I don't know. Like I, I get the sense that she didn't do as well as she thought she was gonna do as a thank you, um or maybe Simbatsu where she was wasn't enough for her or something. Like something happened to her this year that took her out. My feeling, ahead, to, my feeling to that is the produce 48, she got very close. Like, mm, immediately yeah, exactly. close. She learned a lot on uh, appearance and uh, performing and singing over there. She got a following, a fan base that she never experienced before in, in Japan, basically. Even though she really uh, respects, of course, Japanese fans, just imagine that she can do more. That's the feeling. But she's like, okay, well, that was a good experience. Now let me see all the talent that I have in AKB. And then, so Senkyo was still like, eh, that maybe that feeling. And then her goal maybe to become the Sokantaku got crushed because Mion was appointed to be chosen. And maybe that's also a disappointment on that side. So she's maybe going to, where am I going right now in AKB? It's like, is this my height? Am I going further up or am I staying where I am but then I'm looking at the other side there's a lot more over there and if there's an opportunity for my career to go higher should I take that and Here's she decided she should yeah it was really 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 well well put Robin here's the thing Jerry's been at this a long time yeah. she, she's been it can be a long time if you think about it and yeah. She has achieved a couple of years ago. She achieved a lot of attention, just kind of like Tani, like in that way. Like in fact, I, I honestly can't believe Jury's graduating before Tani. To be honest, I, I I was. It's just you get a moment in AKB, and that moment either carries you to something else, or you start floundering in the back, and then you your moment disappears. Uh, like Andy Warhol said, everybody gets their 15 minutes of fame in AKB. Yeah, yeah. It's like those 15 minutes come and they go pretty fast, unless you're one of the lucky few that it stays repetitively every day jury had that for a while and then she didn't for whatever reasons uh, a combination of reasons if you will then she did produce 48 then she got all this attention from korea and you know korea is lucky to have her uh, I, I mean I, I wish her all the best over there with Hulum. um i think they're going to take care of her and i i hope they do i don't know anything about the agency but i got a feeling like she's she's a smart enough girl that i don't think she would put herself in a bad position there um, she did taste that that moment where she could have been in Eyes One. She sees what Eyes One is doing and their their meteoric rise. And she was thinking, "Wow, I could have been that." But now maybe she could do something else over there. She likes Korean culture, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think I, I I think that it's a logical move for her to do at this point because she's not doing anything particularly special in AKB. Also, maybe she has the same complaint as us. AKB is kind of stag stagnant when it comes to creativity, when it comes to the dancing. They haven't moved forward in a couple of years now. They really haven't. So I think in that sense, what does she really have to look forward to? A Sasenkyo where maybe she's going to be in Jarena's Tales again? Where, you know, yeah, granted, Sakratan's not in her way, but you still got Ogi. You still got maybe you, Karen, if she still sticks around um, and she decides to enter. I don't know. Um, that's the other thing, too. You have... 
you know, Jerry might be feeling the fire of a lot of the up and comers in AKB. There's some great new faces coming. Um, yeah. And and honestly, uh, youth rules in AKB. Youth rules at all, and they always have. And I think um, in that regard, Jerry sees a chance to dance better, to sing better, to have her weirdness maybe more affirmed over in Korea. She <laughs> could stick out there. Um, will will it happen? I don't know. But I here's what I really think she did that for. I'm thinking she wants to join Eyes One, and she's wait. You know, by getting into Korea, that could happen by maybe if there's a, a void there, like somebody graduates from Eyes One, she might be able to step in. I I, I almost feel like I, I don't know how it works in Korea if that's even possible, but I kind of get the feeling like she saw what happened with Sakuratan and Nako and Honda, and she was like, hmm, could this happen for me? And let's be honest. Jury is freaking gorgeous. She is far superior in looks than just about any other AKB member on the planet. I mean, to be honest with you, she will fit. She will fit well. I think she's a little more, and I'm going to say this, I hope this doesn't offend any fans, and please don't get mad. Don't don't write stupid comments saying that I'm, I like skinny girls. But I think like she's a little more plumper than perhaps some of the girls over in Korea. A lot of the girls in Korea are, are you know, they're, they're sticks. You know, a lot of them, I mean, late, like they, they just, they got dancer bodies. I'd say Jarena, she's not fat, but she's, she's a little more, she's more healthier looking, we'll say, I guess. And I would say, whereas in Korea, you see some of those girls and you're like, do they even eat? And I hate to say that. I really do. But let's be honest, you know, they all kind of look like they, they live on carrots. And water and Jerry, Jerry does not live on carrots and water. We've seen what Jerry tries to cook, even though she failed at cooking. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> she she still cooks. Remember some of those great moments, Robin. Yep. Um, but but I would say yeah, she like, can cook. She can cook. She definitely can. I'm saying, will that affect her there? Also, she might have a, an a, an image challenge there. Well, that's all I'm gonna say. There's another factor you just helped me uh, think about. Please. It was on this Please. week's AK Bingo. So, um, by the way, she looked very gorgeous, and she had that one line that was like, um, you're going to get some Judy, that was like, okay, that's uh, yeah. very nice. Say. No, um, Iria Maana was there. Yes. yes. And they talked about, well, you look a lot better over mm. there, uh, how's it going over there? Oh, success has been amazing, I've been recognized on streets, and it's like mm. all that. I think that's also an influence, it's like... So if you're going outside AKB, you're getting a lot more attention. And and this is my feeling as well. It's like, the because AKB has such a old-fashioned mindset, I would say, they're, they're not going with the times, it's like staying with nowadays with all this media out there and stuff like that. Showroom is still a thing, right? But for yeah. those members, they all go to Insta Live because Insta -Live. that's more globally yeah. and more well known on that set and I feel that a lot of them are now seeing and I think Judy saw this as well it's like locked in in in, in Japan is not the way anymore if you if, there's there's so many people out there who can have this interest and get their well known so why should we stay locked in this country and I don't think that's only considering in AKB48 this situation I think it's in Japan in general it's now getting out there you know the Tokyo Olympics are coming up and the feeling is like, are we still in this country that's not accepting, you know, gaijins, but lately a lot more? If I'm looking like, um, maybe you guys know him. He's like an, um, it is, it's, it's like he's on Twitter a lot in his YouTube page. It's Mister Yabatan. Oh, Yabatan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's the guy from Norway who uses a French accent and speaks over the top Japanese. He knows yeah. he can do Japanese, but he do it does it like a very foreign style. But a lot of pe uh, people are accepting him, and he's like now getting well known to this fact. And I'm thinking there's the switch. It's like, should we stay with the morals like, no, no, Japan only, uh, no foreigners, nothing that, or are they becoming more open because they see that, well, a lot of foreigners are now also getting more to them and be like respecting to their rules. So it's just like a mutual relationship on that side. Like I'm, I know we're getting a little bit off topic and a little bit further on this, but I think that's the current mindset on the generation, on the age uh, set that, uh, for instance, Takashi Judy and so on and so on are on right now. It's like 
maybe staying in Japan isn't the thing anymore for entertainment. Maybe we should move on and broaden our audience to a global uh, situation. What do you guys think? Mm. Mm, I'm well to be quite honest though. Um, Japan has been more accepting or rather more open to foreigners. If we're going on that route, I'm not sh- uh, entertainment wise. Maybe yeah, I'm gonna try K-pop again with it again. But maybe the music industry of Japan can take an example from what the K-pop site is doing because so many artists are now having concerts i'm not talking about prizes like for example blackpink or <laughs> i was still gonna mention that they still haven't yeah. chased the prize i'm still not going yeah. <laughs> no but more like or uh, uh, more artists from the k-pop sites are having concerts in like europe in usa when was the last time we had someone like akb or nogisaka I have a concert. Kashiwaki Yugi solo in Anime Expo in 2018. Yeah, but that was not a concert like, for example, like Pink is going to. Do. It's like a small time event. But yes. I'm really like a, I'm talking about full blown concert. The last time I've checked uh, for a Japanese concert was X Japan, and that was a long time ago. But mm. after that, pretty much zero. Whilst on the K-pop side, we had BTS, I think we had EXO as well, Blackpink is coming, we had Dreamcatcher, so... Well, Derek has a good example to this because he's been actually promoting that and has uh, actually experience on tour going to America with with this. And do, do you agree with this feeling that a lot more should go outside of their, their, their comfort zone? I mean, think about what just happened. The Asia world festival in thailand mm. well, some some of those girls got a real taste of what it's like to see outside of japan japan is a very homogenous society it's very closed off you can live here and feel like the rest of the world doesn't exist um if you don't watch tv especially like you 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 just you live in the world that you work in and that's it for some of these girls you know for akb members that's going to akihabara every day you know if you're a theater girl and that's it you go home and that's it that's your life so getting out there, sometimes girls, they, they want something else. They, they want to see the world. They want to explore. They got bigger spirits than, than a, a routine spirit. They, they want to go out and adventure. Um, so just that alone can inspire girls like Jerry, for example, to go and see what else is out there. And that could really honestly just be her whole basis for a decision. Is, I'm just, I want to see what else the world has to offer. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, as far as like the idol world I work in, yeah, I mean, I, I think there are some real advantage to that um the girls you know they, they gain more fans more fans means more money uh at, on a business level it means more people supporting you more people spreading the word about you grassroots is important so if you go to america and you play to a room of 40 people and 30 of those people buy your cd your t-shirt meet you and talk about you the next day to their friends the next time you go to america those 30 people might bring another friend you've increased your audience by double so it's you know i my my band did that we played South Carolina one time to eight kids, and then a year later we came back. We played a sold-out venue of like 400 kids, and those eight kids were there. And believe me, they brought all their friends. So it it it, it happens. The thing is, you you have to ask yourself though in Japan, um, because Japan can can give you everything you need. You never have to leave this country, and you're gonna feel like you've lived a fulfilled life. You have to ask where are these girls in that, and I, I can tell you right now, it just comes down to organizational rank. If you're a girl who's been basically in a team in AKB forever and you've never moved up, or you have, but you just you haven't seen the benefits from it, you're never in Sembatsu, um, you're getting very few calls to go on variety shows, and, and you know we're one less variety show now with AKB show gone, um, it's like, you, what, what is there left? You know, unless you have some special talent that you can make use of, a lot of idols in the underworld, they'll supplement what they're doing with shows with other things. Like some of them will work at idol cafes, idol bars. Uh, some of them will do idol talk events, which I've done plenty of those for members of Necroma. Like we'll, we'll do them with other idols. And, uh, and they're fun and they're cool and it supplements what you're doing. Um, the other differences in the idol world that I'm in, a lot of these idol groups, they'll play two, three times, four times a week because that's their paycheck, that's their income. And you only have a limited amount of time. Like I was talking to Ricky the other day about idols, and, and we were just having one of our big, huge discussions like we always have about idols. And he was saying, you know, we were talking about the there, the there's disbanding, which they did on Thursday, much to everyone's sorrow. 
And, you know, we were talking about how, like, the idol world is transient. You know, it's here today, gone today. And that's what makes it so special, that you can be part of something for that moment in time. With AKB, they're trying to do something anti-transient. They're trying to keep their thing going. And the only way to do that is by expanding your reach further past the same people you've been playing to for years. Yeah. So in that sense, it's very important to go out there. But to do that, you also have to be conscious of the world. You know, think about it. Like this world is also very transit when you say it changes all the time. Mm, so yeah. you got to change with it. You can't be playing smoky jazz 50s tunes and thinking that that's going to appeal to everybody except your 50 year old man dem demographic. You got to get with the time. And, and, and I think, again, that's why Ikea, for example, has done so well. They've got with the time. You know, they're seeing the angst and rage that a lot of people are feeling the state age. And they're like, yeah, we'll tap it. We'll tap that. We'll that. And the NMB for a moment had that with. The EDM yet they were pushed out like must be now, common yeah. agents, they were really tapping the time. Um, so AKB though, to their credit, did something very different throughout all their years. Just they had their own brand, their own sound. But even that, they still managed to be relevant. You know, are they relevant now? That's debatable. But it, it, I would say going out and expanding, that's great. And let's be honest, what's the one thing AKB48 has never done? They've never toward the entire world as a whole they've 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 gone out they've done little things here and there france and uh you know washington la new york um but they've never actually said we're going to do a world tour like for example blackpink they just announced their world tour they've been on it or whatever touring everywhere okay blackpink's a tiny little idol group from korea i, I say tiny but i don't need to disrespect. i mean compared to numbers of members yeah but akb they've never done it i i'm sure for purely economic reasons but I also don't think it's just that. I think if they had really gone out as a whole, hit up every major media circuit, you know, if Blackpink can get on The Tonight Show in America, I'm sure AKB can, like, think about it. They could be reaching millions more. But the thing is, in Japan, they don't think they need to. It's a homogenous society. They're fine here. They don't need to. See my point? That's the old mindset that we're talking about, yeah. yeah. So Still the mindset. Yeah, hopefully the 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 shift is coming. But if they're keep going hopefully. like this, I don't think they're they're gonna be long. It, it's it's now 14 years, I believe they're they're together. Maybe 40. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's long enough, I would say, compared to a, a lot of idol groups. They're the longest one running. But eventually, mm -hmm. it has to end somewhere, and maybe if they don't change and go with the times. Maybe we're getting there. That's a scary thought, I would say. That's so, interesting. That's what do you, interesting. Let's also add that to the comments. What do you guys think? Just, just add this situation. Is this, is this maybe a beginning of the the end for AKB48? That's a, a big topic to go to. So we'll talk about it more next week, I would say. Um. Uh. Okay, other than that, uh, a few more little uh, here and there things. So, on Twitter, I saw a lot of posters about uh, Junsen uh, Sakura uh, song being 10 years old. And, you know, that clip was like, oh, it, it's 10 years into the future. What will happen? And then stuff like that. Funny enough, my Datsuko, uh child is born, <laughs> yeah. has a son. Around that situation. It's funny how, how things go with life, but uh, congratulations, Acha. Oh, oh, on uh, conceiving a, well, maybe the first child or second coming up, but um, yeah, they showed the picture and it's like, that's scary actually that they're the 10 years later, the thing changed. Only Yuko was uh, pregnant in that situation, but yeah. now the roles <laughs> have been switched on that side. Um, other than that, any other news? Uh, moments we would still want to talk about before we go to the Patreon end of the month questionnaries. End well, of the, season. the documentary we watched in Rotterdam oh. is getting a release actually and it's going to be a four disc box. So the two hour movie we were watched is only just a tiny snippet. The real thing is like four DVDs or Blu-rays long and it's, I think it's about eight hours on footage or something like that. Wow. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> That's uh, there's gonna be an extended version on that. Um, will it be subtitled. I'm not sure to be quite honest. It's only a Thai release at the moment, and the original has been released on Thai Netflix as well. So, on many Netflixes, actually, uh, but not really in Europe. No, sadly not. 
Uh, your, your Netflix is always outside uh, the box on that side. Oh so. yeah. Get get on it, Netflix. Um, yeah. Anything else? Uh, we we said it before, but HKT48 is releasing single uh, on April the 10th. Uh, there are 17 members in Batsu. We don't know the center, but we think that it's Sashi. And yeah, it's after a f- almost a full year. I want to say 11 months since their last single. So. It's, uh, I was actually thinking this week, you know, we, we had Juwaro Days, uh, NMB just released their CD, uh, uh oh. NGT is dead, uh, Stu <laughs> also did recently something, only SK or HKT can release something in the next two months at least, uh, to, you know, have us talking, otherwise, it's silent, it will be <coughs> quite silent, um, so this surprise is... It's a surprise. Uh, I, I, I have a very mixed opinion on it, but we'll see what it turns out. But yeah, what I said, it's there will not be many things to discuss in the coming weeks uh, in that sense, unless SKE releases something also kind of last minute, though I think that if they would do something what HK, uh, HKT did with uh, Calendar, uh, releasing it just before Susankyo, that it would not work for it's them. It's not but... gonna work. No, it's not going to work. Uh, yeah, speaking, uh, uh, yeah. You know, may, maybe if they really announce it tomorrow, maybe. But I, I, I don't know. I doubt I, it. To be quite honest. Though. Otherwise, <laughs> we'll have uh, a very lonely two months before that. In Robin's words, uh, non-existent Susankyo that's coming up. Still uh, saying but... it. No Susankyo this year. <laughs> uh, but yeah. uh, we'll see. Uh, and if it isn't, then. It will be a very, very, very quiet half year until that dredged uh, Jankin tournament or Jankin. Oh tournament. man! So, okay, well, skip that one too. Yeah. Oh, well, then God. we have nothing. <laughs> so. No, but speaking about NGT though, remember raging uh, last week, Robin? Mm-hmm. Well, a- a- according to the Nigata Nippo, a local Nigata time, there actually was a secret meeting between management and all those connected to the incident and from what I've heard of it they still try to downplay it and hoping it will fade away currently the four only manager is missing has been reported not being seen since that's also interesting well not good it it, it's (laughs) and G pretty much (laughs) Uh, okay, Derek. Anything before we go to our questions from the end of the month? What you mean, like, 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 just? Uh... Uh, something new, so something on your mind? Do you still want to talk about? I mean, we covered it pretty much. The only, the only thing I would say, this is kind of from the underworld, I guess. Is I, yeah, as you know, the there, the there is disbanded on Thursday, and again, though this isn't directly related to AKB, it's just kind of one of the things I was talking about with transient um, idols leaving and whatnot. The, the interesting thing about that is that um, one of the members went to another group that I really like called Nick Shelter, and um, I, I've been a big fan of Make Shell for a long time. They're under the same producer, Tanaka, and um, I'm really happy because that member was my favorite member in the day there. So it looks like I'll be able to at least hopefully see her at shows if uh, Nick Roma plays with them. And, you know, and uh, they also got, like, this group, Make Shell had lost almost all their members last year, and now they got six members. So it's like they're they're like in full force. They just released a new song too, and it's it's definitely a song of the year for me for any idol at this point. I mean, it's it's a banger, and it's so good, and it's they're just getting started. So, um, it's we, the reason I bring it up now is because it's just for all the things we're saying about AKB and, and like you know, it, it's it, for every everything that dies in AKB, something's born again, and and that's the beauty about idol is that like you know especially a group like AKB with so many members one member could fall and 20 can fill her place. And I mean, just look at us now talking about Supreme. I, a year ago, we didn't, I don't think we even knew her than her name, you know? And and now look at her. She is the talk of the town. And that, that can happen in Idol just like that. A good video, a solid, you know, run of, of appearances in your, you know, videos, MVs, uh, variety shows, and just an overall great personality. And you could be the, the, the person we're looking up to. And again, AKB has plenty of candidates in that regard, plenty. And, you know, for everyone that graduates, like Jury, unfortunately, 
Um, there's also many that can take Jerry's place and become captain of the team or or better. So it's it's just I think about these things a lot because I'm in a world where I, I'm working with people one minute and then they're gone. You know, it's just not that they die, but it almost feels like that. It's just weird, mm. you know. Yeah. So idol idol is beautiful like that. It's it's also temporary. You gotta love it and hold on to it while you can. But that's I guess the thing that's been on my mind the most lately. Cool. Okay, um, so we haven't done this in a while, but yeah. my apologies for that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I love you. <laughs> okay, so it's the end of the month, or well, it's the beginning of the new month now. Um, and then for our Patreon, we allow that the uh, you can have questions that you want to ask us. And uh, normally I have three questions a limit per person, but since we didn't do it for two months, I uh, allowed them to... Uh, give as many questions as they want. Um, so we have two people who have uh, a few questions. Um, first off, we'll start with uh, Meta Hendrickson. Mm -hmm. And um, he asks, uh, my questions are, what old AK Bingo contest concept that hasn't been used in a while would you bring back to the show now? Show Jiki Shogi. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one too. That's number one, I think. <laughs> by because far. of that question. Yeah, by far. Because I really miss the times when the members really went to each other's throat in that particular oh, game. Oh, so funny. Um, I would say the detective uh, segment. I miss oh, that yeah, one. Yeah. Or maybe Those the cooking fine, segments yeah. as well. Or maybe the cooking segments as well. That's also one, yeah, the Yori, uh, Yori type. Uh, Kotobaga, I miss that as well. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I take that mm. one. That one was amazing. The, you see, those are old segments that, that, that really just... Within live show, but however, I do like the two new factors they had. I like the baseball, the, the straight yeah, talk the, uh, the moments, egg. and the brain uh, training uh, segments. The, those are oh, yeah. really yeah. fun. Yeah. So the, take the good and the bad with it. I would say the they are really stepping it up again on AK Bingo. That's the only thing I would say <laughs> AKS is doing right now. However, and I don't think AKS yeah. has anything to do with AK Bingo, so... That's true. I would say props to Miramoto, because yeah, Miramoto, right? I, I still remember what he said in his first episode, that he has the control in that sense, so if that still holds up, then I would say that he's doing a great job. Yeah, he was a lot of fun in, uh, again this week. He, he asked uh, Iriyama Ana again about her photo yeah. book. Yeah, uh, oh, oh man. <laughs> Just, no, just... I, 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 no, his response, uh, he was sitting oh. on the, uh, the, the stands that they have. And they were watching like uh, the, the the kissing scene video the kissing, from yeah. Uh, yeah from like and when that happened he had he was like falling on the trip yeah they, he, he's, he's like, like embarrassed going like yeah like, I, I was like why is he sitting uh, maybe he was just sitting for some reason and he had that re reaction that was just great he was great uh, that was a good moment um okay. If you could create a new unit with members from all the Japanese 48 groups, who would you choose, why them, and what kind of concepts should they have? <laughs> uh, oh. World 48, <laughs> can I choose that one? No, that's what yeah, I would wait, Japan. I would make a head that's heavy unit, to be quite honest. Um, but I would have Yoko-chan, Ikumin. Uh, but I'm not sure who the that's heavy members now. They've graduated. But... Yeah, that's the biggest mm -hmm. problem that's I would the say. Biggest problem, but I would, I would create a dance unit because it's been a really long, it's been a really long time since we actually had one. So something like that. Uh, personally, uh... I would go with a social media unit. So you have Instagram oh. then, Komiyama. <laughs> um, maybe then some from showroom being in there and oh, then someone from Twitter. Oh, that would be fun, yeah. Yeah, oh, you yeah. could have a combined, like a social media uh, group being in there. Not like they did with the showroom Sambatsu, but like... Yeah. Doing doing all that style. Or, or um, maybe someone who would go to web shows. Hint, hint. Could be. Mm. Okay. I, uh, I would... Oh, go ahead, Colin. Uh, now I was thinking like... A group about acting. I don't know. Uh, it's a very good question. I can't re response, but I would like choose the the AKB girls that do a lot of acting, like on stage plays, like even mm, the Magic right, right, right. yeah, recent yeah, yeah. one, or even like like the the Romeo and Juliet from last year. Like uh, I don't know who to pick, but I would say the regulars that you would 
or have seen appearing on those uh, acting stages. Maybe do something like that. I don't know what they could do, but uh, that's the first thing <coughs> that I was thinking. Well, there's currently a stage play uh, with uh, Iwatate Saho and uh, Taniguchi Megu. Yeah, and, Mountain Dog. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the, Megu looks coarse, by the way, uh, with <laughs> yeah. the, even with that red oh, dress and stuff. So yeah. Her Mobame is like, hey, oh, yeah. boy. Yes, it's the wallpaper. <laughs> Very good. Derek? I think um, I would do maybe two different ones. Um, the first one would be uh, I would do kind of, like I've, I've said before, I would take a bunch of the members in ATV that aren't getting any screen time oh, or anything underground whatsoever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, underground content. I bring I bring them in and, and have them play tie bonds with a lot of the under groups and um, I'd have them really have a fun time with that. Go a little more harder, get a little more edgier with some of their stuff and actually have, you know, I develop them there. And then two, I'd bring back the chaos stage, and I, I would, uh, oh, I'd have yeah, Tani, yeah, yeah. Ta Tani, Tani would be captain, and it would be all the the insane girls in AKB48, like all the crazy girls. And every stage they did, you never knew what to expect. So like, no stage would be the same. They would have like a loose format for the songs, but they would like also ad lib a lot. And so there would be dances, but there'd also be like anything goes. So I think that would be really fun. So those would be the two I would probably go for. Okay. Great. Um, BNK48 is expanding their activities by doing a sports day just like the 48 group used to do. Should they also adopt other 48 group events like Junkin or Request Hour? Mm, not I sure. think for Request Hour they can do along the yeah. line. Uh, maybe they can tone it down to top 25. That they can't, yeah. no, I'm not sure if they have 25 songs, to be honest. I think it's too early uh, right now. I think it's a bit too early for the request. Yeah, hour, I, would say. I, I would yeah, even though they're on fire, I would say, kind of like my opinion about the Sasenkyo, it's like, you can do it, it went well, like, I have no, I was a bit hesitant at first, but we got something amazing. I would say wait uh, until you have, like, more members to really do something with that, um, though... I would say kind of what Matt is saying, uh, what I just said about acting. I would like them to do like a stage play or something. Yeah, a stage play something. or uh, a series like Magisica. Like, yeah, basically like that. The, I, I would say a stage play because that's more raw and then I could more see their, uh, their versatility in acting, you know, on stage. Mm. Uh, to, opposed to a TV so, show, but I would like that something like Majumiri. Uh, well, I would say. Yeah, we got it in beginner, so so why not the Majiska uh, in yeah, there? They they can release it, they can stream it. You know, AKB has done that with the Majus, uh, Majusiri Gakuen stage play, the Romeo and Juliet stage play. They can air it once, maybe we can watch it, even release it on DVD. The uh, Junkin, though, no, because no. Junkin is more of a really Japanese thing to do. You know, rock paper scissors. It's it's a very weird phenomenon, and and that they do basically every year. Um, I don't think it would work per se for uh, BNK48. Maybe something with a similar prizes. They have like a competition that someone would uh, be center in that situation. Maybe the Thailand has like something along the lines of their own game that all the kids played over the years that they could turn in a fun event. Hmm. Maybe they, know, maybe, do, maybe, uh, maybe they can do maybe can maybe they can do something like a backup test like the AKB. Yeah, it's like an exam test. Yeah, that could be also fun. Yeah. Uh, Derek. Yo. Derek. I'm sorry. Yeah, you cut out. What? What's that? <laughs> the question about uh, what should um, BNK48 do with adopting other 48G that's, events? That's that's what I thought. So, sorry, it's just I I have the worst like quality video right now um no like uh i mean i think you know what worked for akb could work for them but i maybe be be more culturally sensitive to what thailand wants you know i mean they don't have to necessarily replicate i, I it's like it's a it's a weird question because like on one hand you want to offer the japanese experience to thai fans that's that's kind of the whole point but on the other hand Thailand has a lot to offer too. I, I I'd go for a hybrid blend of something, something maybe traditional in Thailand that would be fun that like makes people laugh in Thailand. Add that to a, a variety show style similar to AK Bingo, and boom, you got something <coughs> new original. Um, I'd be down for that, you know. But that other than that, it's hard to say 
Like, you know what I actually really like to see is like a, a Mete I gate for V and K. Mm. Something like where where they do like a Baka test or something. Because you could take any idol and put them in a classroom. And if you have characters like, you know, in Mete I gate, like grilling them, it's going to be hysterical. It doesn't mm. matter. Mm. You know, I could watch the Morning Musume one and laugh my butt off. And I don't even necessarily follow Morning Musume, but it's so funny. So AKB you really know, and B&K were getting to know, the Thai fans would love that, I imagine, because then they would see why, you know, and, and all, they, they would see why we love AKB so much, because we have shows like Mitch and IK to help us understand the girls more, develop personalities and characters around them. I mean, Kawhi Arena, that's all I have to say. Yeah. But then yeah. also, like, if you think about it, the big thing is, I, I think, it, it just, we, how do I put it? we create mythologies around these girls, you know? And that's the biggest problem with, like, AKB, even BNK. If I don't know anything about the girl except her name and her looks, that doesn't really make her that valuable in the idol world when you have 500 idols in a group. What else is there? And you got to give these girls a chance to shine. Well, you have to. So hmm. anything that BNK does to do that, I'm on board. Cool. Um JKT48, BNK48, and AKB48 Team TP all have currently or have at some point had transfer members from AKB48. Do you think uh, MNL48 and SGO48 uh, will get a transfer member from AKB48 in the future? If so, who could that be? Oh, that's a very good question. Great, Ooh, great question. question. Oh my god. That is likely to happen at some point. Yeah, likely to be quite honest because I would not be yeah. surprised if with MNL that happens this year. I would yeah. not be surprised. Uh, mm -hmm. I think maybe SGO is a bit too early, but with MNL, it's I think it's their second year, say? so yeah. who would you I, say? I could... Who? That's a big question. <sighs> I would I, uh, you know, then I look at, you know, Isarina and Abim Say someone who doesn't have that much to do in uh, AKB currently. I, I I think I remember like a Facebook post from a few weeks ago somewhere that asked the same question. Uh, maybe, yeah. Who you would you send? I don't know. Yeah, because if you take a look at, for example, Haragon, who went to JKT48, who, mm -hmm. who literally became a legend over there. Yeah. Uh, Isurina is on our way to becoming a legend in BNK48. Mm -hmm. So those are really uh, jackpot hits. So the, the question would be, who would you set? And who would actually fit in quite well and become a staple member or a legend so, in a particular group? So I'm an idiot. Uh, MNL48 and SGO48. The, so Saigon, where is yes, that actually? Yeah. It's, Vietnam. That's Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Okay, and what's MNL? Philippines. Uh, the Philippines. Manila. Mm, right. Okay, so, hmm, hmm. I was, I was thinking, you know, uh, current on status, who would have a name outside it would be Komiyama Haruka. That's an idea. Mm, mm, could, but I don't want. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't. Katorena, I think that's the name. Ah, you know what? I can that see that. Actually work. That might actually work. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at the later gems. Uh, Amuto Tomu, if she still decides to stay. Sure, it kind of depends on if she's going to announce graduation or not. Because if she announces mm. graduation, yeah, then you can be pretty sure she's going to Korea. So yeah, I don't think it's that likely uh, that she will be a Kenyan. If um, uh, Akimoto Saika was still there, then definitely <laughs> yeah. MNL. Uh... Oh yeah, 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 pretty much. But <laughs> oh, I I can't imagine like the Akimoto Saika from now like going there. That's like. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, uh, Nemesu uh, uh, Army. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a good question. I can't really say. That needs to be thought so about I, for, for I, a I while. Would, I would say I, someone not that doesn't really do already that much in AKB, but who I'm not quite sure because I'm also thinking someone who could be sent over to live alone. Like, I'm also thinking like age, like at least 20. But that's my. How age. about, oh yeah, Shizuka then? Former captain. I, I yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm not here, sure about that one. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. I mean, Manila, Manila, and Saigon. They, they got to get personalities and identities first. They don't have them, at least not on the mainstream. Like within their own worlds, their own countries, perhaps. Like the the people that fall in there might know, but 
they haven't they haven't really crossed over. Manila kind of did at the World Festival, but they really, I think, to me, they confuse me more than they did impress me. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think if anything, they they need first their own identity, and then also too, like just look at Maria Abe, what happened with her versus Isarina, what happened with her. Yeah, BNK established yeah. themselves. They have an identity. They got. They're going places. Uh, Isarina is shining there. Maria Abe, mm-hmm. who? Where? Huh? Yeah. She's still yeah. there. She's yeah. graduating yet? Because Taipei, what are they doing? Nothing. Versus like you know Manila, they're they're making waves. They're starting to they're starting to get mm-hmm. noticed. Yeah. Much respect yeah. to them, but it just still doesn't feel. It's still they're kind of like it's, it's, it's still a bit rough, I would say. They're they're like the ignored child of the AKB family at this point. <laughs> Not nothing against them. They're just they're trying too hard, I think. And I hate to say that because I love Philippines. I love Filipino people. Like I have no no problem. It's nothing. It's not a comment on the Philippines. It's just the group there is not based on the performance of the World Fest Simbatsu World Festival. I don't think they get it. I don't think they get Idol quite yet. And maybe, I think it, hmm, maybe, maybe getting a member would teach them. That that's true. Sorry, Derek, for interrupting you there. I would say maybe, it's fine. maybe maybe after the episode we are like I know who you know maybe maybe we'll reveal it later in the comments you know when we enter yeah, I'll maybe. just think about it maybe for next week so yeah that that's also a possibility okay we still have a lot more questions to go through so uh, yeah. let's rapid fire to these well oh, oh. Is, is it okay if I finish what I was saying oh yeah, yeah sure. oh, sorry Derek I wasn't done <laughs> uh, Colin interrupted me and so I, I didn't want to like interrupt him um not that, but I said I don't have any problem interrupting all the time. I talk too much. Um, but no, I was I was gonna say like I just as far as members go, from Manila. I mean, if you really think about it, I mean, really think think. I mean, there's isn't there kind of an obvious answer here, guys? I mean, who who do you think would really do well there? Just think about that for a moment. Really think about it. Just what, what's the first name that comes to your head? Honestly. Iwata te Saho. No. Saho, really? Okay. Yeah, that's no, the first but... name. I, I don't know why. Tell us, Derek. Okay, what about you, Robin? No, no, no. no. I want to hear from you guys. Robin DX, what do you guys think? Fukuoka Sena, some stuff like that. No, 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 no. 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 Uh, no, I really have no clue right now. No, I'm I'm drawing a blank actually. Okay, I, I to me, like. Maybe the better question would be, who do you think in AKB really likes Western culture a lot? Komi. Komi. Right. So, so like you guys had mentioned, I think Komi might really do wonders for them if she went. But at the same time, you know, remember the documentary we saw with Komi where, like, like she was, like, running stuff, like, behind the scenes. She was, like, yeah. upset about mm-hmm. stuff. Think about it. If she whipped some of those girls in Manila into shape and she showed them the way it's done in Japan, it could do wonders. I could see her, like, you, you put a leader like that in a leader position, she's going to lead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think yeah. Manila, I'm not saying Manila's rudderless. It, it, they seem like they have very strong personalities there. The girls at the World Simbatsu really impressed me with how strong they were on the stage. The problem is they were strong for all the wrong reasons. They were too westernized about it. You take somebody like Comey to redirect all those girls' strengths, and I think Manila could end up being the biggest discussion, the biggest group on the planet in a year. But they got to figure out what they're doing. they got to decide. Do they want to be an Americanized-style group trying to be a Japanese group? Or do they want to be a group from the West understanding Japanese culture and adopting as such, like BNK has done? You see my point? Mm-hmm. So, so Comey would be the, the, the ideal logical choice. Very I don't good. want to see it, though. I don't want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I know we have a lot of questions. Yeah, we have we have a lot, lot more because uh, Jerison uh, Orision uh, is coming up, and he has, I think, twelve. So uh, why, don't, why don't we save some of these for next week? I mean, we've already it's a long episode. <laughs> that, that, that is an option. Um, let's see how far we get. But for the yeah. final question for um, for Meta Henriksen was. Um, what is your favorite team song? It can be from any team in the 48 uh, group. For example, Team Ace Pioneer. Wait, what is what? I'm sorry, you cut out. What is your favorite team song? It can be from any team in 48 group. For example, Team Ace Pioneer. Mm, I don't, I'm not really... Very mm. good question, by the way. Um, 
know. Um, hard one, actually. Um, okay, so for me, it, it would be um, a team uh, case. Uh, gorilla. The gorilla song. <laughs> uh, oh, right, right. <laughs> Ooh, or something like that. Yeah. Or for me, it's Team Force. Um, oh, this the song title love, is, is Love Shugyo. No, 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 no. It's it's um, uh, what's the song? Sage it, in Philosophy. No, it's it's with. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Gesundheit. It's the one with uh, the, the, they're at the at a monitor and they're creating the video and all the tabs open. It's um, ah, Kangari Hitor or something like that. Kangari Hitor. Oh, yeah. That one. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Kangari the one. Hito. That's the one. Those two are basically my favorite on that uh, type. Uh, other than that, hmm. I would Ooh. say for myself, Team B's Honest Man. Uh, but also the theater no Megami. I really like that one. Um, I'm like I'm thinking like really that represents Team like, B. Oshi uh, is is also. also... Team, oh, yeah. Why did I think of that? that Team B. Oshi. That's gotta be the one. I I was drawing a blank on that one. Okay. Team B. Oshi for sure. No, for me personally, it's also from Team B. Uh, Kagami no Naka no Jane Dark. I really like that one. Good. Yeah, that's good. a strong that's one. I'm I'm looking at the sister groups. Oh, Jun Joshigi from. Oh, yeah, the sister groups. Sister groups don't have that many team songs, like really team team songs. Yeah, I know what you mean. I got one. Go Ooh. ahead, Derek. Team K, how come? Oh my God, that oh, is right, the banger. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The video, everything about that song, the video particularly is, it's that song. I mean, you want to talk about like again side songs like songs that aren't even their major hits being unbelievably creative special uh how come i i can listen to that song every day of the weekend it doesn't get old and watch the video well too. if we're going to involve uh, sister groups one classic for me from team s is Teo Tsunagi Nagara. i really I still love that one till this day hmm hmm mm. yeah that's not a bad one not my favorite but not a bad one Huh. Maybe and maybe Glory Days as well. Oh, that's oh, also yeah. a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Solid, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay, sorry, Jarrison, uh, Oration. We're gonna save all your questions then for next week because there are so many of them, and we'll will we will answer them. But we've already been going for two hours on this week's episode, so I think yeah, we're we're, we're kind of on a time limit. Yeah, we're, we're we need to wrap things up so, so soon. So. We'll save that for next week. Let's go then into our recommendations for next week. Well, first off, we're going to uh, answer all the questions Jarrison has on our Patreon site at uh, patreon.48talk. So if you want to go there and uh, ask us questions for maybe next month, at the end of the month or start of the new month, go ahead and, and find out there. And, uh, you know, extra content is coming up soon as well. So who knows? Just uh, if you want to support us in that way, go to that patreon.com slash 48talk. Otherwise, for coming up uh, next week, uh, I watched Kate Kate Kakanai. That's the. Yeah, I watched uh, the, good one. <laughs> the that, Miyagi shoot. The Miyagi shoot. Oh. That was fun. I, I, I'm glad it's multiple parts, but it's a lot yeah. of fun to watch. So. I do that one, man. <laughs> so it's like, oh, how a random person show up? Why do you have a pinned mic pin on mic, your chest? Yeah. So. That, that's that's. I don't see that one. With mics, so I'm about, so yeah. yeah, AK Bingo is going to be a follow-up on the uh, the brain games, mm -hmm. so that's also a good uh, part to watch. And um, I'm expecting the Undergirls BNK48 MV coming out the this video, week yes. as well. Yeah. So those are my recommendations. DX, what are yours? Well, mine was actually Pierre Kitakak and I because of the send I should. I watched uh, last Sunday the last one, and I had so much fun with it, so I'm really looking forward to the follow-up. So that's my recommendation as well. Alright, Colin. Uh, I would say, even if you're not a fan of being gay, watch Beginner and let us know what you think. Uh, yes. yes, 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 thank you. I, I would say a Kabingo too, for another reason. Uh, Jun and Zakura with Miyazaki Miho Center. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I yes. think that's coming up, uh, if I read that tweet correctly, so maybe that would be fun. 
otherwise, Nemosu, uh, Japan Expo was two months ago, and the girls who were there did Nemosu. So Nachan had to buy dresses. Oh god! <laughs> oh dear! Uh -oh. I, I actually yeah, haven't watched wait, it yet. Do I want to see the results, or is it uh, work safe? Or yeah. no, no, th th that's the whole thing. They're going to a temple, so their their skirts uh, okay. are too short, so they have to buy long dresses. And Nachan lost, and she has to find those dresses. So oh dear! There's your uh, preview for that. Hey. Oh dear! That's it. I, there isn't anything like major happening. I think. No, not, yet. Or anything. not yet. Not yet. Not uh, yet. Fun group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Derek. Got a couple, as usual. Um, first of all, again, thank you all the fans that have commented. Um, mm. I was really late in getting responses. Colin did a lot of them. I did manage to get everybody, I think, as many as I could. Um, those that I did, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, just keep keep giving them. Um, you know, Because the comments are getting more and more, it's getting a little bit harder to get everybody in. But please, mm -hmm. please give up. I literally re I, I live off these things, man, because I'm on the train. And it's my favorite thing in the world when I'm packed in there like sardines to just pull yeah. out my phone, read your comments, and smile. And people are looking at me like I'm an idiot because I'm smiling so much, but I don't care. Like, it's just uh, honestly, like, your comments mean the world to me. Yeah. And I can't, sometimes I'm rushing home. We, yeah, with the amount of comments we get lately, I sometimes actually miss my stop. So, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean I, that's happened to me almost a couple times too. Um, but I, I literally rush home just to comment sometimes. It, it's really great. I really value all of them. I know we all do. Thank you so much. Please keep doing that. Same. I can't say that enough. Number two, um, like Colin said, please check out Beginner. Uh, also check out Two Hour Days. I know a lot of you were saying you were going to wait to comment because you want to hear what we had to say. So oh, yeah. let sure. the let the comments fly. Um, I'm curious to see what you guys think about Two Hour Days. The MV, <coughs> the song, everything. Uh, give us your in-depth analysis. Let us know what you think. Um, that's very important. Those are my biggest recommendations. Other than that, a couple of things on the on my world. Um, well, three things actually. One, um, ne Necronom Idol is going to be playing with Yannick Lopez-Sotomito and a two-man live at Shibuya Cyclone coming up uh, here very soon, I think on the 10th. Um, I can't tell you guys how deeply important this show is to me because, number one, Yanemu is so big now in Japan as far as the underworld goes that, like, you know, they're, they're playing thousand capacity venues and selling them out, and they were nice enough to do a show at Shibuya Cyclone, which is so small, and they're doing it with us and a two man. Um, I think those that are going to come will be in for a surprise um, because Necroma is always full of surprises. I, I don't have any official information as to this or why I'm thinking this, but I just feel like something special is going to happen. So please be on the lookout for that. If you're in Japan, please make it to that show. Also, for me personally, if you're there and you see me crying, please don't make fun of me. Um, this show means more to me than I can admit. I can't yeah. say my two favorite groups playing together. Um, and just all love and respect to Yanemu and to their fans for and, and to Yanemu's staff for being cool enough to be like, yeah, we'll play it. Like, they don't have to. They're bigger than us now in that sense. And, and you know, for them to do it, again, it just shows you the idol world, how cool it can be, how close it can be. Um, I think it's a beautiful thing. That's why I'm mentioning it. Also, Migma Shelter, you know, they've been out down and out for the count. They've only had two members, Mimi Mew and Brazil. Um, Brazil joined last year. Um, you know, for the past year, they've been, they were a six member, you know, unit. They lost everybody last year, including my favorite girl in the group, Amari, uh, which I guess I could say that now, even though she's been, I really shouldn't have favorites. Um, but they are now back in full force. They just put out a song called Parade Then as part of their EP that they're releasing. Um, if you want an absolutely incredible example of why I come from the way I'm coming from with all my thoughts and comments, again, AKD's major idol, I get it. They have to do a lot of mainstream stuff, but it would do them well, and it would do the fans of AKD well to hear what is some of the most creative stuff on the planet today being made. Parade Zen, that song is a banger. It is a song of the year contender. I can only imagine if AKB did this song, how amazing it would be for AKB, and it would totally fit them too, I think. I think they could pull it off and do it well. So I'm just saying, you know, there's a lot out there in the idol world. Adding to that, my final point, um, I guess, would be uh, lately, I've been very, very intensely getting some funds together to do my idol documentary. Um, I'm not putting on official crowdfunding yet because my plan is to get footage shot and then do a trailer and then put that trailer and append it to a crowdfunding campaign. So this way there's actual video footage. 
But to do that, I got to get a camera. I got to get a you know a lens, tripod, all that. Um, I've had some some people I've reached out to give me some money and donate and help me. Thank you very much, you, those of you who, you know who you are, including some fans of the show, which thank you very much already for that. But I'm only I'm also asking all of you now if you can help, please help. Um, again, anything you help now will be retroactively applied to what the crowdfunding tiers are going to be. Like for example, one of the tiers will be like you know. Uh, you'll get a signed DVD from any of the idols that you pick in the show. Like, if there's an idol that's in the thing, if you want their signature, I'll, I'll make it happen. A group signature DVD, and then I think even the highest tier will be like, you can come to, if you can come to Japan, you can watch the documentary movie premiere with the idol group, um, which is a very, very rare thing. So, um, you know, anything you're applying money-wise to me to help me with that, you're going to get that as part of the tiers. Or you can just wait till the crop comes up and help that way too. Um, but I do need help now. Uh, I'm trying to get this camera done. I, I met a documentary filmmaker who only has a couple weeks before he starts a full-time job, and he's amazing, and I, I really like him. He knows his stuff. We have the same mindset. Um, I, I, I can film so much now. I have so much access to so many idols that are really wanting – that they believe in this, in, including Nekrama. I Nekrama's story is going to be told in such a huge way. I know so many players in the idol industry now that want to get on camera. Um, I just need a camera. <laughs> so, um, and, and, and I know that sounds crazy to say, but um, if you can help me, please do. Um, that's I, I just want to get that conversation going because it's going to be a big thing for me now. I, I want to do other things like bringing idols to the West, you know, like Eats Meets West too, and all that. But to do all that, I feel first, I need to put some information out there into the world about idol. And I think the best way to do it is to do a documentary, one that's fair and balanced. And doesn't you know depict middle-aged men as skeevy pervs trying to prey on young teenage girls because that's so far from the truth. It's not even funny, at least not in the world the world I'm in. And and we've seen it with AKB. Um, maybe even AKB will show up. Maybe AKS. Maybe their staff will be part of this documentary if I can make it happen, which I'm I'm working on. So you know, um, if you believe in this, if you believe in what we're doing here, Forty Eight Talk, um, please help me. It, it would it would mean a lot to me. I'm sure. We'll, we'll, we can put my PayPal or whatever on there or whatever. Um, but, you know, and also, again, you guys, thank you for giving me a chance to talk about this stuff since I'm more in the idol world now more than ever. Um, but this 4 talk is very special to me because it reminds me of why I'm here in the first place, you know. AKB, I wouldn't be here if it was for AKB, you know, so. Cool. Th thanks for uh, going and throwing it out there. So, yeah, we'll put those links, uh, of course, uh, in, the, in the description below. Uh, but with that, though, thank you for watching this week's episode of 40 Air Talk. And we'll see you next time, then. Bye, everybody. Bye. In your position. Bye.